Hey, greetings, programs. It is Hank and Fernell, Drunkards and Dragons, and I got my homies up on the spot. These are some buddies of mine. Sometimes we play RPGs together. Sometimes we just exchange comments on Facebook threads. But uh, tonight, we are going to get into Ye old Warp Shell. So those of you who are familiar with Index Card RPG know there's some science fiction zaniness going on in that game. And uh, there's been a few people exploring it recently, and uh, I kind of want to get it, I wanted to get back in on the fun. So um, tonight we're going to be exploring another mission of the Warp Shell. So if you're familiar with this setting, basically there are these sort of strange, sort of sentient ships that uh, kind of choose, it's, it's a little ambiguous, but they sort of choose people to be their crew. And these ships are driven by this strange instinct to kind of seek out uh, danger and important sort of critical situations throughout the universe and the crew is just sort of along for the ride and so the the sort of the fun of the setting is that it's uh, it's kind of the made for one shots type setting so you're always materializing somewhere you don't really know why, why you're there what you're doing and your mission unfolds and usually wind up sort of vanishing into warp space at the end <laughs> so we are going to do one of those tonight uh, we have Austin and Jason and Matt here. Um, all three of these guys have been awesome members of the uh, Index Card RPG community. So if you haven't checked out the Google Plus group for that bad boy, you should definitely go look, if for nothing else, just to browse the damn images. It's just uh, lots of zaniness going on in that group. Uh, it's like a very prolific, very creative group. So it's worth checking out. Um, and I think that is most of my preamble so uh hey guys welcome thanks for uh joining me tonight and um i hope you're ready to roll some bones what up oh yeah definitely man Woo. Get so one thing i wanted to experiment with tonight was um kind of been getting ready to do a video about turn time and so i've been kind of toying around with some different ideas about how to in a fun way, muck around with turn time at the table, basically with the interest of getting everybody more roles. And that includes me and that includes all three of you guys, just so you get more stinking roles in the night. Now, I'm, I know that maybe that's counter to like, you know, waxing profound with some role playing and stuff. But um, just for the sake of fun and to see what it's gonna feel like, I'm gonna try, I have a little five minute timer here and I'm gonna try seeing if we can get our whole round rotation between the four of us into five minutes. So it's not like a freaking alarm is gonna go off or something, but uh, I'm gonna be sort of watching and seeing what our time is as far as around and I'll try to move it quicker or go ahead and let it slow. And we'll see if that has any effect on the game. Uh, maybe someday get a cool little sand timer for it or something here on the screen. So thanks everybody for tuning in. And um, well, let's dive right into it guys. So our crew today consists of these crazy knuckleheads. So you guys want to just give a brief intro for each of your characters real quick? Yeah. Who's who's first? Looks like... Uh... Matt, you go first. Okay, cool. Uh, my character is named uh, uh, Scar Thrax. Scar for short. He's the reptoid all the way on the right there. He's a patient reptoid hunter. He's a... Uh, he's, uh, he was the, the youngest of his spawning as well as he, he's the runt also so he's got a, he's trying to prove his worth as a hunter to his family and uh he's a ronin so he's got uh, got a lot of gears and uh gear and gadgets to help him um help him succeed and i, I was going i'm going for a, a little bit of a kind of a predator vibe with him so let's see if i can i can do that awesome. not get nice. killed yeah scar scar Scar. I can go next. Okay. Um, so Austin, um, I'm actually playing a Zill tank. His name is Zondam. Uh, and um, kind of some backstory behind him. He uh, he's he doesn't like to talk much, uh, but he doesn't really need to. Um, he mostly grunts, but willing uh, to talk to, um, when needed. Uh, this isn't because of any kind of trauma he's been through or anything like that. Like I say, just. He just doesn't think talking is, is much of importance unless it's absolutely needed to communicate what he needs. 
uh, not much is known of him or who, uh, but he, uh, but he is known to be a survivor. Um, he joins uh, for, to me to the uh, the others um, and other like like minded natured people uh, to help him survive, and hopefully these ruffians can help him out and survive throughout all this. <laughs> ruffians. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Jason? I am Athos. I was once a wise and powerful wizard, but I was imprisoned by one of my pupils for many years. My powers drained from me. When I was freed, I swore to take up an oath of protection, and I committed myself to the Zuran Order to become a servant of balance for the universe to protect others. Awesome. And you will be played by Christopher Plummer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons Theater. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the three of you have been chosen by Warp Shell. It's the, the culmination of all your training here on Zevos and the vows that you've taken. And in Scar's case, he's kind of got this chip on his shoulder. So... When the three of you hear that you've been chosen by a warp shell, it's like for all three of you, kind of for different reasons, uh, that's an exciting moment. And I don't think we need to consider this adventure the first jump that you guys have ever done together. Cool. So I think you guys are, can be familiar with one another. You don't have to be like, hello, what's your name? You know, I think uh, we've already been through some stuff together. And uh, so your shell has already moved through a, a few different missions. So you guys are familiar with how, how to do a space fold and how to operate the systems and you know who you kind of have a lay of the land of who you are and sort of what your specialties are so uh, you guys watching couldn't see but we're kind of hang around for a little while before the game and talk about you know what kind of uh, characters we're playing and stuff so all that kind of pre-game meta knowledge is completely you guys is to to enjoy cool so, you yeah, know we'll come, you, we'll you know that Tom Dom is like this kind of tank character and you guys can Sweet. Freely kind of use that meta knowledge to be an awesome team. Sweet. Plus, I have a big, uh, a big shield and a big sword. I think you get the hint. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it means I always run away. <laughs> <laughs> so the three of you uh, finish this whatever your last mission was. The warp shell disappears into slip space, then in an instant rematerializes. You kind of pop out of your your gravity couch, and uh, there on the display. You see that you're in the, uh, I, I believe it's called the Aster Cloud, which is this huge cluster of gigantic planets. And these planets are known to be sort of uh, a long ways behind some of the leading civilizations in the universe. So these are all very primitive planets. Um, and some of them are kind of like primitive sort of Ice Age type planets. Some of them are more jungle. Um, and this one is sort of a forested temperate world that you're near. This is Aster 12. So it's kind of like imagine Earth, but the size of Jupiter, um, wow. you know, 20,000 years ago. Sweet. And so you guys arrive and quickly the, the warp shell scans the planet and one location is instantly identified on your display. And uh, the, the shell has a, a sort of what I guess a warp shell would use as a shuttle, which is really just kind of like a weird sort of cephalopod looking thing that kind of just shoots out the bottom. Uh, almost like a drop pod in Halo, um, cool. more like that rather than an actual sort of second ship. Um, so right away, it, it identifies the location. The sort of floor lights light up in a row and lead you down to the um, the, the shuttle pod or the drop pod. And you guys do your thing, you know, like Zondam grabs his big ass sword. It barely fits in there. And, you know, uh, Scar has got like 14 different weapons all kind of stacked up and and uh, good old Athos is just sort of shaking his head and, yep, <laughs> namaste, <laughs> you know, he's like blessing the drop pod as you guys get in. So everything in a warp shell, too, in my imagination, just haps, happens insanely fast. Like the technology is so ridiculous. So you guys just get in, it seals, and it just shoots right out the bottom. It's almost like the thing is like laying an egg. So it just cool. fires down into the atmosphere. You guys are ripping through the atmosphere, kind of wondering, you know, what, what is this one going to be? I, I guess we're going to the location. Like, this is happening really fast. And something, an energy weapon of some kind, hits the pod. And it Bummer. doesn't impact like a burst weapon 
or like a particle beam, which like we've kind of have talked about in some of the other games. This is more like a, a cutting beam. And this cutting beam basically like rips through the bottom of the pod and the stability of the pod in the atmosphere is completely flown off whack. No. And the three of you are tumbling down and basically manage to stay in the pod kind of until the last second. And it deploys like these weird, I don't know, it'd be sort of like, um, I don't know, like those little gel packets that you put in your laundry. <laughs> it deploys like a billion of them and they all scatter out across the ground and you guys fly out of the pod and tumble across all these soft little, little gel pods. And as soon as you kind of are standing up and dusting yourselves off, all the little gel pods sort of dissolve and uh, they've served their function. Um, and your pod is also sort of the same. It hits the ground and kind of grinds to sort of bits and then sort of begins to sort of slump and dissolve. So hmm. unsure of right. what your chances are, where you are, what you're doing, uh, the three of you find yourselves in this forest with some gray stone around you. And tonight, all the maps are the outstanding isometric maps made by Two Minute Tabletop. So wow, definitely cool. go to oh, Patreon man, that's killer. and check out Two Minute Tabletop on Patreon. He has really reasonable pledge levels to get all of his maps and props, and the guy is just brilliant. So here are the three of you guys. You can see your tokens over here. You're kind of in the woods. <laughs> That's so cool. Sorry. And that let's get those D20s out and see who goes first. Cool. All right. Here it comes. Oh, I rolled a three. Ten, 11. 18. All right. Sounds like you're, you're first. Oh, cool. What did you get there, Austin? 10. Oh, OK. Great. So, wow, I, I never go first as the DM. That's insane. <laughs> so uh, as you guys are kind of feel about this. getting up and, you know, uh, Athos is making sure everybody's okay, sort of, um, you do hear up around the bend here. So you can see how there's sort of a little, a little cliff around here um, and then a sort of walkable space. Up around that, that bend, you do hear some, you know, garbled talking like... <laughs> Oh, shit. And I'll go ahead and get my timer out. Because that's how we do it around here. Use yeah, this boy. big guy. Fear not, brothers. This was all meant to be. Oh, he rolled a four. Okay. Oop, oop, oop. Okay. That's all right. Point. So that goes to, uh, what was it, Matt? Were you highest? No, I rolled a three. Oh, so, okay. So, Austin... All right. Zondam. <laughs> I peer around and, hmm. All right. So I'm going to kind of just see, observe uh, around me, obviously, because I, I heard that sound and I, I don't like that sound. Uh, I want to peer around me and see if I can see what made that sound. All right. Great. So on that note, let me grab this little guy. Uh oh. Oh, here it comes. Oh, yeah. I'm scared. Man, I'm just... I know, right? Brothers, this is the moment we were training for all yesterday afternoon. <laughs> okay, so let's get that uh, wisdom roll on a 12 then. 17. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Whoa. So out of the water. you sort of, before you guys have even found your feet, you creep forward just a little bit, look up, and coming around the corner there, you see a squad trooper. Oh no! And he's sort of scanning side to side. He has his uh, his energy weapon. He's kind of looking around. Uh, I mean, obviously they saw the the pod come down. So, anything else? Um, I'm gonna. Can I, I want to actually move up uh, to next to that cliff just to be uh, hiding a little bit. Not necessarily. I don't, I don't want to be seen as much as possible. But okay, just kind of. Cool be the front line, make sure I'm ready to go just in case these guys are going. Are, okay. are, those, are those rocks where you are? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so, so. You, you look like rocks, right? <laughs> that was an ongoing debate today, exactly what this is. But I think they're more like a, you know, a, an organic material rather than yeah. stone. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to stay my hand for now until we see what's up. 
All right, Athos. All right. So Athos uh, has, has landed here and he's got his beads and he wants to sort of divine the future a little bit. And so he's going to cast uh, words beyond time real quick. So int spell. Awesome. Name. Uh, rolled a five. So he's, he doesn't really get anything. Bummer. So it's a little yeah. jarred from the landing to be casting magic so suddenly. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, Scar. Scar is going to um, let's see here. Scar is going to uh, he's going to say, "This one has a plan," and he's going to go up and um, he's going to go up and uh, set the use using his uh, trapper gear. He's going to go ahead and set like a wire trap for for the squag. Okay. And um, I'm going to try to go ahead and do that. I'm rolling on a 12, right? Yeah, just to sneak up, you mean? Uh, to sneak up, yeah, to sneak up. And then yeah. I, I want to try to uh, do a good trap. Yep, dex on 12. Dex on 12, that'll be, that puts me at uh, 15. Hey, okay, so you creep right up next to this rocky sort of wall here, set right. this little wire snare down across the, the walkway, like kind of across here, right? Yeah, I, I imagine that he's got his uh, one of his tra his trapper gears, like this little pod that he kind of throws at the ground, and it just kind of these wires just kind of shoot out and uh, Sweet. and kind of like 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 into like the tree and the rock, and and then they they go from then they just become like almost invisible. That's awesome. So I, I see what you mean now by predator. Like it's not like <laughs> a, like your kind of trapper gear. It's like predator gear. Correct. Correct. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So perfect. So just <laughs> that was exactly a five minute round right there. So cool. We can do that's it. kind of what it feels like. All right. So um, first of all, I'll click my timer down to three. And uh, this guy walks forward. As he does so, he's kind of scanning from side to side. Um, he has got a squad mate uh -oh. that comes up behind him. And occasionally they have a little bit of radio chatter. And they're like, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Um, and they're kind it. of scanning side to side. They're basically looking for what whatever landed in that pod. Um, so you're sort of hidden right here. But since you made your stealth check, I'm not going to give him the chance to spot you again. Yeah, boy. Um, nice. But let me just do a 50-50 on if he hits the trap. How about that? <laughs> yes. All right. So, so one, two, three, he hits it. Four, five, six, he sees it. Come on, one. Hey, it's a six. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> yep. So come he on. comes up and he spots this, and he's uh, he's familiar with this kind of trap technology. This is kind of, you know, common throughout the cosmos. And he stops, and then he's on alert, scans around, and he signals to his buddy. Great. His buddy comes running up, and they're now sort of in high alert mode. But again, since you made that stealth roll, I don't really feel fair compromising at that. So you're like a lizard under a rock, like right there, like near them, but they just don't see you. I and uh, on that, we come back to Zondam. Alrighty, Zondam is going to do what he does best. He's going to engage. Oh, ah. mind the <laughs> trap. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> I know the trap is there. <laughs> yeah. Brothers, yeah. they are friends. <laughs> uh, he's going to go ahead and uh, look at Scar and say, "You stay there. I'll take care of this." Damn. This right. one agrees. I'm going to hit. <laughs> <laughs> um, with that, he's going to hit the bottom one or try to at least. All right. Great. Pop him right in the bubble helmet. Right. <laughs> All right. And he's going to, he's got his geranium blade and he's going to just come down and try to smack him. Hit that 12. Standard stuff. Oh, <laughs> swing and a miss. So right over the top of him, he ducks. And they're, they're already swing. laughing. <laughs> yeah, I don't swing very well. Okay, Athos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Athos is, is going to waddle forward as, with his little turtle self. <laughs> and uh, yeah. he, he sees that his brother is in danger. And so he casts uh, Divine Shield onto, uh, onto Van Damme. Great. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mod 8. <laughs> oh, no. Remember too, if you're getting those dice frustration, to try the same spell twice and you get the easy. Oh right. yeah, well, yeah, still... 
Okay, well, it's two swings, two misses <laughs> for the caster there, and come back to you, Scar. So you're hidden under the rocks here. Scar is going to um, try to, uh, being a reptoid, he can use any surface uh, to, to I mean, he's going to walk up the rocks. He's just going to kind of run up the wall and kind of uh, using his arc spear, he's going to aim down at the, at the nearest one and try to zap him with a bolt of, uh, bolt of electricity. <laughs> oh, that's there you awesome. Go. Make it easy for the high ground. All right. He's got the high ground. No way. Natural 20. Hey. Yeah. We're in business. Yes. yes also, it's a good dice now. All right. The, the fun cart is open for business. All right. Oh. Roll up that damage. All right. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, it does uh, basic, right? Yes. So there we go. That's uh, six for the weapon. And come on, big money. For ultimate, it is seven. So combine 13. Damn. So you have this the spear, right, that gathers this energy up and then unleashes it out the end, like sort of uh, Stargate style, right? Yes, yeah, sort, sort of sort of like that. Yeah, just kind of like, just he, he kind of aims it and uh, much like a rifle, but it's a, it's a spear also, so I can stab him with it if I need to also. So you fire but, this energy weapon down at the, uh, and I assume you're firing at the close one, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what okay. I said, yeah, the close so one. So you fire this blast of energy and you definitely hit him, and it knocks him back on his feet a little bit, but you see that he has a thin layer of energy all across his sort of space suit. Cool. And it absorbs and dissipates half of your blast. Oh, nice. Oh. Okay. Nice. So he's got kind of like in Dune, like he has this kind of disruptor shield that kind of fits the shape of his uh, exosuit. Hmm. So now they're totally alerted to you guys, obviously. So that one will fire back. So... Right. Um, Where's my business? Okay, so what's your armor, Scar? Uh, Scar's armor is 12. 15 up on the die. Ooh. Energy weapons. Get ready for energy weapons, guys. Yuck. Three damage. Three damage. Then we have the next squad firing at Zondam. What's your armor, Zondam? 16. Ooh, that's tough to hit. 12 mod, so he misses. So his particle gun shot goes wide. And we come back to you, Zondam. The battle is joined, sir. All right, he's gonna uh, try to get in closer to make sure he, uh, they kind of stay focused on him and make sure they know who to fight. Um, and from there, he's gonna go ahead and try to bring down that uh, that blade again, even though he missed last time. All right, so same target. Yep. Three. Oh my god! <laughs> I said I was I was tanky. Not I don't really hit things. <laughs> yeah, and uh, since you since you uh, you had the whiff, you're you're hitting easy too. If you're just doing the exact same thing again and again, you're you're going against easy. So yeah. the math is in your favor, but the dice hate you. Yeah, uh, right, pretty much. He he chose the class huge diversion. <laughs> okay, Athos. <laughs> Athos continues to sort of waddle up to get near uh, Van Dam you know, counting his prayer beads and trying to focus uh, once again. And this time, he, he's again going to try and consult the universe uh, with the, the words <laughs> on time to aid his, his friends. Ah, great. Roll it. 13. 13! Hey! Ah, hey! Okay, so if I remember that spell, it's uh, allies all roll ultimate on their next success, right? Yes, that's exactly it. Really? Oh, that's, cr yes. that's killer. Yeah. yeah, that's a nice little spell. Sweet. Okay. Um, Scar, come back to you. So you feel this power from beyond the dimensions come over you. Oh. Um, well, I, I before anything, uh, the, the the repair spider that's uh, built into his armor, I think, is going to start stitching my uh, stitching my my burn wound back back together. Um, it's repair spider heal one damage per turn. Oh, are you injured? Yeah, I took three damage. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, he popped nice. you with the laser weapon. Yeah, okay. Yep. Awesome. So, uh, and we're going to, uh, he's going to kind of just, he's going to kind of like flip off the, uh, off the, uh, the, the rocks uh, with, his, with his arc spear and just kind of like, he's going to try to stab it through the top of, um, uh, the top of his uh, like, like bubble dome. Yeah, awesome. that's cool. Nice. <laughs> right through the bubble dome. Right through the bubble dome. That's a strength because it's melee, yeah? Correct. I don't. This is 14. Uh, it's a mod 16. 
And that's a hit. So it's just another crit thanks to the spell. It's a wheat deal. All right. You, you can go. take him out here. That's uh, six damage plus two damage, eight. Almost. So this time it goes right through the energy shield and the the spear actually cracks his uh, his bubble hat open and he starts getting like bad atmosphere in there and you see him choking up on this kind of he, he doesn't like normal air. They have to breathe squag air. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. But, uh, yeah, you gash open that exosuit and give him a terrible wound right there on the shoulder. And yeah. then uh, we come to me, so he's going to counter fire. And uh, 12 armor, Scar? Yes, sir. Seven mod, so he misses. And <laughs> yeah, then the yeah. other one at uh, Jean-Claude Zandam. <laughs> and that's a 17 up, so that's a hit. Energy weapon, four damage. Okay. And uh, I count down to two as well. So just for reference, that was a three minute, 45 second round. Yeah, boy. So it's kind of, <laughs> it, it isn't so much that it's a rule. I think it's just really interesting to see how to structure your turn in a way that can kind of truck through and still get your work done. Um, it's, it's cool. It's interesting. Okay, so we are all the way back to Zondam. Alrighty, let's try it again, man. Okay, still rolling on easy and uh, on another harmed target. This might be the last time I use my tower. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, that is uh, 12. Yeah. Hey, there it is. That's a hit. So you also have words beyond time on you, so roll it as if it's a crit. Yes. Alrighty. Sorry. One second. And crit. We've got six. And then nine. Nine damage. Oh! Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice. That's Great. Hit. So you are. The battle is joined. You still have this trap set on the stones, like right between you guys where you're fighting. Oh, yeah, that's right. So you're kind of fighting over these wires, but with that big old three handed sword, like you just sweep it across, knock a piece off the front of his exosuit. Athos, you're up, my man. Okay. Um, Athos is going to try and he's going to pull out his, his flute. And he's going to start kind of making a, a song. <laughs> and he's trying to, he's trying to coax uh, one of the, the guys to sort of move forward into the, into the trap with his charisma. Whoa. <laughs> but he's sort of in a magical fashion, right? He's kind of like messing with his mind a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's doing, he's, he's like putting the whammy on him, like the performance, like, like hypnotizing him, you know, come forward. Okay, join let's me. Do, uh... <laughs> Let's do competing charisma, and I don't have any mod on that stat, so I'm just rolling raw. Okay. This one is confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a, I got a 10 up. I got a 16 plus 3. Oh, yeah. So sure enough, he steps forward kind of like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Stop that awful noise. Stop it. And he sort of reaches out. He's trying to swat the flute out of your hands, and he steps right into the wires. So does that thing do a little bit of damage, Matt? Um, I undefined. It just says trapper gear. Okay, well <laughs> let's, give him, let's give him one damage, and uh, he'll be stuck right there. I mean, I think you guys are going to fight him, but he'll be stuck right there for the next four rounds. Oh, that's cool. So his ankles are all tied up, but he's he's just unloading with a particle gun, so he's uh, he can still fight. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that trap is like smart wire, so it kind of like wraps itself around around his oh, legs. Nice. Yeah. So great. So we can make his attacks. He's he's rolling. Uh, um, he's rolling difficult. Cool. So we'll add three onto you guys' armor when he's attacking. So he's all tangled up in those things. Cool. Okay, that's uh, back to you, Scar. Nice play, Athos. Uh, Scar is going to. Um, he's he he's just he's just stabbed down. So now. His his arc spear is actually still in the his shoulder. He's gonna he's gonna reach into his side, draw his uh his his honor blade, just a dagger, and try to finish him off with that. Oh, nice! Get it done. Yeah, that's a sixteen mod eighteen. 
That's a big old hit. Five <laughs> damage finishes the job. Right. Four plus four, that's eight. Oh, so right in the goggles. Yeah. <laughs> so you, yeah, I mean, you pierce right into his little squog skull, which is oddly mushy. Always cool. disturbing. Always disturbing. The, uh, um, Scar is going to say, first blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for that, mark yourself down a hero coin, Matt. Yeah, boy. All right, cool. Hero coin. Okay, so my tangled up squag is going to take a shot at uh, Zondam. And he's shooting against a G, is against a 19. How? And he's what? got 18 on the die, so he's got a mod 20. Hits it. Oh. Particle gun. Ouch, man. Seven damage. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Are you down? No, no. <laughs> okay. I, I, have, I, have, uh, I took a uh, heart stone. So. Oh, I'm the only one who doesn't have a heart stone, huh? No, I don't have a heart stone either. No, oh, it's, it's just yeah, Jean-Claude. It's my turtle shell. Cool. Yeah, you can just turtle. You're fine. That's right. <laughs> then my timer is now on a one, guys. And uh, that's back to you, Zandam. All righty. Let's see. Uh, that one is still, like, tangled up, correct? Yep. All right. Um, is he kind of like standing up or is he like on the ground kind of tangled up shooting or no, he's, he's still on his feet. It's just his, this, like, uh, like Matt said, these kind of smart wires are kind of tightening and kind of, he's unstable and his guns wobbling around. Well, I'm, I want to try to kind of sweep him out from under his feet and then just kind of come down on him. Holy crap. Going for damage or going to, to like get him on the ground. To like grapple him? Um, I would like to get him on the ground. Oh, okay, great. So make your attack, and then instead of damage, we'll just have you pin him. Nice. Uh, 20. Sweet. So you sweep him right up along with the smart wires all in a mess. Oh, no. And come down with your sort of weird chitin torso, and you have him pinned against the rocks. Yeah, I want to like, kind of just pin him down with my, my uh, shield and just kind of pin him down, make sure we kind of trap him down for the final blow. Yeah, and he has... Uh, he has 10 damage against him, so he's like, he's pretty messed up, and now he's down. Um, and that comes to you, Athos. So you see your uh, your tank ally just bring this guy to the ground like WWE style. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that, uh, that Athos would probably walk up and just sort of gently push with a stick on the space guy and says, excuse me, son, did, did you see a giant space laser? About. <laughs> <laughs> I see our targeting systems failed to kill the three of you, but no worry. There's an army of squads. <laughs> oh, oh, coughing up green blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I think then Athos would sort of kneel down and start saying a little prayer over him. It says, do not worry, my son. You shall return to the balance. Ah, mumbo jumbo. He tries to sort of spit some green blood on you, but he sort of, his teeth are kind of knocked in and he just makes a mess of himself. All right. And we're back to Scar now. Scar is going to walk over to where he's prone and at, and uh, just kind of point his, point his arc spear right in his face. And he's going to say, S -s -s -s, an army minus one. And then he's going to kind of, <laughs> Kind of zap him, right zap him right in the face. Are you gonna give him a little zap? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna get him. Okay, well it's an easy. I mean, he's pinned down. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, uh, ten plus four. Yeah, <laughs> I hit. think I got him. Plus three. Yeah, sorry, thirteen. So roll it up. Roll it up. Six damage. So he Six takes three damage. of that. So again, his little personal shield kind of reflects a portion of your blast, but uh, your message is received and he's kind of knocks his head against the rocks. He's just like, he's in over his head at this point. <laughs> um, so that's around to me. My first timer goes to zero, but first he's going to try to struggle free. So let's do some uh, competing strength. Shall we, Austin? All righty, let's do it. I got two on that roll and a, oh God. Two up, so I got a mod four. All right, let's see if I can get a one. Let's see if better. you can beat that. 
10. Oh, wait, no, uh, 12. Great. So you keep him pinned down. Okay, cool. And as you guys are struggling with this guy and kind of pop him in the face, you're kind of interrogating him. Up around the bend here, you hear a little voice. Help! Help me! Help! It's someone down there, please. <laughs> and back to <laughs> acting. And uh, back to you, Zandam. All righty. Um, I don't feel like we need this uh, this guy anymore. So I'm going to go down for uh, with my blade and just kind of trying to get him. Coup de gras. Finish him off. So it's really just a matter of getting through the armor with the roll. So beat that target. Smush him with uh, That's 12. There you go. Give me that damage. Damn Do uh, seven to finish the job. All right. <laughs> uh, I got two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I glanced. Who got his exosuit? He's he's not he's not out yet. Yeah. So and then as you sort of go to stab him, he kind of scriggles free a little bit, and he's he's kind of up on one knee. And Athos. Okay. Okay. Uh, Athos is like, ooh, he got up. Uh, and then he's gonna cast divine shield. On to Vandam. There you go. Beat that target. 15. Nice. Yeah. Cool. So and that's, that's, a, a, that's a whiz spell, right? Yes, yes. That's a whiz spell. Uh, it says enchant target to absorb the next 10 effort done to it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, Zandam, that's, 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 uh, that's time proof. So it's just the next 10 effort across whatever amount of time. That's fine. Oh, oh, sweet. Um, sweet. Okay, that's back to you, Scar. Uh, Scar is uh, irritated that his uh, ener that his energy blasts seem to not be affecting them uh, as they're supposed to. He's going to, again. Um, he's going to again try to come in with his honor blade and try to finish this one off too. There you go. Uh, Normal that is, that is an eleven. Bummer. Oh, so yeah, his his exosuit is holding together enough to stop all these blades coming at him. Dang. We gonna get lit up, <laughs> all right? <laughs> so this squad backs up. He's kind of up against these these trees right here. He's sort of run out of space. He backs up against the trees and he's sort of looking side to side. And he's freaking out, and then he kind of his shoulders slump. He drops his gun, and he flips open a panel on his chest plate there on his exosuit and there's a big red switch and he hits it and explodes. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, oh no. Man. <laughs> so everybody give me a deck save. Oh. I rolled uh, 7. I rolled se I rolled 7. I rolled a 1. Oh man, Jesus. go for the second one, Jason. <laughs> it's an 8. Okay. <laughs> So we're just going to do weapon damage on this bad boy. No big deal. <laughs> and I got max. So everybody takes six damage. Yeah. Oh, brutal. Brutal. Oh. Are we going to wipe in the first one? Jeez. Yes. <laughs> I'm at one. Wait, so, wait. You can't be one. You, you have a shield. So this explosion oh, okay. rocks okay. the forest around you guys. And uh, as the sort of the, the debris is settling and the flames are dying down, you hear this voice up above around this little bend going, Oh no! Is anyone still alive down there? Please help me, I can't move! Kind of. And uh, coming back to Zondam. Um, I'm going to go ahead and walk towards that cave up, to, up top. And uh, before we walk in, I want to do a rest. Like a recover? Yeah, recover, sorry. Old habits. Oh, so this turn going for a recover? Yeah. Okay. So you just kind of take a sort of little half move and then basically just sort of drop to one little zill knee if they even have knees. <laughs> and uh, can you beat the target with your con? I hope so. But history has been telling me no. Okay, cool. I did. Uh, 16. Great. So recover one plus your con bonus in hit points. All right. Thank you. Nice. There's that new rule in play. Hell yeah. Super helpful. Okay. Right. So next we got Athos. 
Uh, Athos is also taking a uh, a rest. Okay, gonna maneuver. All um, right, beat the get... beat the target with con. All right. Uh, yeah. So uh, sixteen. There you go. Yep. So, so you take a little turtle knee and pull a few hit points back. Scar, that's to you now. Scar's uh. Scar's uh, repair spider is kind of kind of crawls out from the back of his arm and starts stitching together all of like the burns and like shrapnel. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go up by by one, so I'm at five hit points now. Um, and he's he's gonna he's gonna walk up. Um, he's gonna tentatively walk up to whatever is making that that noise, kind of like 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 pointing his spear and like looking very fucking like mean. And um, and he's going to go. What have we here? So you come around this corner, and you've uh, probably never encountered one of these, but you guys are definitely familiar with them. You saw them, like, in your training. But there's a, a goblin, good old-fashioned goblin, standing here next to this cave, and he's tied up. And he's sort of struggling, and next to him there's some kind of squag technology console there. And uh, next to the goblin there, you can see actually there is like a, there's a tunnel. Um, so as you walk up, he's sort of terrified at first. And he's like, ah, uh, I'm fine. I don't need any help after all. I didn't know you were going to be scary lizard people. <laughs> I, uh, I, but my, my, if you don't help me, at least help my people. And as he's talking, he sort of, um, how do I describe it? He sort of flickers. He's a... Uh, he sort of comes in and out of reality for a second, kind of scratching in and out of reality. And you actually see parts of him when he's in this sort of phase state start to look like Squag Exo Armor. And he, he's like fighting it. So something is like sort of some energy weapon or something is zapping him in some way. And he's you can tell he's like trying to resist it. So he's like shaking his head and he's kind of scared of you, but he's just like, ah, this poor thing is sort of tormented little being. And I'm going to roll for the time on this sort of process. Oh, and it's a one. Oh, shit. So that comes all the way back to you, Zondam. Alrighty. Sorry, I'm thinking a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> so he's covered in that exoskeleton stuff, right? Kind of trapped. Well, it's kind of morphing. He's He's changing. Hmm. Oh, no. You can see hints of squag as he begins to change. What? It might have something to do with that that device next to him. Oh, yeah. um, I, I'm not very good on intelligence, but I'm going to... I mean, why would I be? I hit stuff. Um, but my, my street smarts, as I say, would probably tell me to go ahead and try that out. Uh, I want to go over there and and see if I can finagle into anything out of there and figure out if I can turn it off if if that controls it. Great. So give me a, an int or wisdom, whichever's better, on the on the target, and check this thing out. Oh man, twenty. Oh, oh sweet. So yeah, pretty quickly you can assess this stuff. I mean, the the Zill are a super advanced race, so looking at squag technology is kind of like you know a TV from the fifties. <laughs> So, <laughs> so really quickly, you see like, oh, it looks like it's uh, some kind of radiation emitter. Uh, it's definitely emitting a local area field. And then you see there's a little readout that indicates there is one target currently in its field. And mm. it's approximately 15 seconds until transformation is complete on that target. Oh. Ooh. It's so you, just, you basically size the whole damn thing up. Like you're like, oh, so the squags have put these pieces of technology here that are turning goblins into squags. Okay. And you yeah. figure it all out on this little console, and you're kind of like, boy, these guys really make some simple garbage. <laughs> but that, that's a good role, man. That's awesome. I do I do feel like I should tell uh, tell them something. So uh, Zondam looks back at them and tells them about this uh, skele uh, exoskeleton covering them, and they are transforming. We need to do something about this quick. All right. That goes oh, to yeah, Athos, Athos, then. Oh, no. I don't think Athos is fast enough to be able to make it all the way to the console to try and stop it. So he moves up as far as he can. 
That's right. Um, you have the torton move speed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's sort of waddling along. Wait for me, brothers. Oh my, this looks like imbalance. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and he sort of starts saying a little prayer, hoping that it will it will comfort uh, you know, this poor creature, which he can do nothing for. Okay. Well, as you round the corner, the little goblin sort of calms down for a second. Because these other two characters are pretty damn scary. <laughs> You're the good folk of the universe. Please, you must help my people. Set me free. We would do all that we can to accomplish this, brother. All right, so Scar, you're kind of in the last few seconds as this little progress bar is going up on this console and you see him start to jiggle and morph a little more and you've got your turn. Okay, uh... He's going to uh, Scar is going to charge his his his, his arc spear, kind of aim it at the goblin, saying, "This one has a plan," and he's going to point, actually point it then at the console and zap the console. There you nice. go. There you go. That's what I was thinking. So, so give me right there for a, a one. What's that? Give me an anything but a one d twenty roll. I rolled a five. So. Great. Great. So this is just, you know, like shooting a giant TV. You know, it's pretty hard to miss <laughs> yeah. the shot. So, blam, you shoot it. This thing sparks and you shatter the little screen. And the effect that's sort of plaguing this goblin in instantly dissipates and ends. Do not assume that this one's visage is his nature. <laughs> he's, he's Wisdom. Like a, yee! He runs over here and kind of cowers next to Athos. Do not worry, brother. And he goes like hug him. Great. And he he's uh, he says, My name is Voos. I am one of very many our people. They're they're changing all of our people into their their army. Set me free. We must help them. Time is short. And he holds up his wrists. He's got like basically a zip tie on there. <laughs> I, this is the second stupid warp shell adventure where I wind up having a zip tie. <laughs> 20,000 years in the future, we still got zip ties. Of course we do. So he holds up his little <laughs> zip tie wrists. And um, I guess that's about it. Okay. So that's back to you, Zondam. Alrighty. Um, I gained a hit point, too. I want to ask this. the little guy. I kind of just walk up to him and just, hmm, what's inside? Tell me more. This tunnel will lead us to the only entrance to my village. We live on a protected island, but they've fortified the bridge. I don't know why they came. They're all gathered at Big Rock. If we don't hurry, there will be hundreds of them, if not thousands. My people. We must help, brothers. I like this little guy. Time is short. So as you guys are talking, there's actually like a tremor. There's a, a minor earthquake that occurs. Dang. And he looks around frantically and he's like, that that's it. That's that's what they're they're doing. Something. They're they're digging up big rock, but I don't know why. I look down at him. You will come with us. Of course, I will fight right next to you if you just untie me. All right. I get I just grab his arms and just pull it apart. <laughs> Snap the zip tie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So great. He sort of reaches out to shake your hand, and then he like looks you over and he pulls his hand back, just like I don't know if I want to touch whatever you are. I <laughs> Don, Don just looks down and up, and looks back at the cave. Awesome. <laughs> so take your uh, your hero coin for releasing Voos. And the minute that you break his bonds, he starts scurrying into this tunnel and he's waving you on. He's like, come, come, the fight awaits. All right. I'm going to follow. All right. I'll assume that that's uh, the, the, the direction of the party. Yeah. yeah. Avos like leads the way and charges in like, we can do it. And he's like waddling slowly past them all as I watch. <laughs> Great. So you guys run down <laughs> this tunnel following Voos and... He's a teeny little guy and he's fast and it kind of twists and turns and you can hear some rushing water. It comes out from a, a, a little rocky outcrop 
and you guys see this stone bridge going across this deep uh, river cut sort of gorge right in front of you, but you're still sort of cowering in the rocks as he's sort of trying to figure out what you guys are going to do, and he kind of waves you forward. Oh, another one of those. So there's this this stone bridge, and uh, the distance here, probably a little more exaggerated, like sort of how far down it is. Uh, I imagine it's sort of being further down. Um, so at the far end of the bridge, they have three squags have sort of reinforced this bridge, and they're, you know, it's kind of scanning the horizon. And next to the squags on either side are these huge auto guns. Oh, shit. So every once in a while, one of the squags will kind of walk over and, like, you know, check a setting on it and kind of pull a lever and make sure it's all functioning properly, and then he'll go back to his buddies, and they'll kind of talk a little bit. And uh, let's just let's just keep our order. Why not? Okay. So that comes to you to kick it off, Zondam. All righty. So we got one, one of those panels. I'm sure I see those panels out in front of us. Um, I feel like I should, before we smash it, I feel like I want to go over there <laughs> and look at it first. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to try my, my luck again. So there's there's a chance you'll be spotted too. Do you want to try to sneak? Uh, absolutely. Okay, so give me a wait. Let me find my little target hole. Where is it? There we go. This is where I keep my targets. <laughs> Yay, targets! So as you sneak out, you realize they've they've fortified this particular location for a reason. Like this is a highly defensible location. Right. And uh, as you sort of leave your rocky outcrop, you realize how difficult it's going to be to sort of get a jump on these guys. So that's why we get this higher target. So Dex on 14 to sneak over to the console. All right. Oh, man. Does a three work? <laughs> <laughs> hello, my baby. Hello. hello. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> So you're yes. coming across the road here, and you're trying to skulk across the road, and like your your sort of six foot long sword kind of drags and clanks, <laughs> and uh, all three of them spot you. Genius, draw their fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Athos, this so it just got real, real fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I just I look back at them and. <laughs> 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 I have a question. Can can Athos mutter uh, uh, his spells from in his turtle mode like when he he's left? when he's like shelled he, up? Like when he shells up? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. He just can't oh. move. Yeah, he just can't move. Right? Okay. Yeah. So he but sees the, he sees the all, head is, is still out. <laughs> he sees all the cannons and he goes, "Oh!" And then he like jumps into his shell and hits the ground. Uh, awesome. And then he, and then he goes he goes, "Do not worry, little friend." I shall help, and he starts muttering a, a spell to cast um, a divine shield on on the little goblin friend. Great. So, uh, also, don't forget, Austin, that you still have that ten, that ten temporary to burn through. Yeah, uh, I'm at uh, three currently with it. Okay, cool. So make that roll, Jason. Okay, sweet. Uh, nice. Let me a mod fifteen. Perfect. So, um, can you track Voos for me, Jason? Yes. So he's got one heart, and now he's got the ten disposable. Oops. No problem. And I'll, I'll control him, but if you can track his health for me. Got it. Okay, Scar, you're up. Scar is, uh, is repair spiders going to work on his wounds. He's on about seven HP now. Um, he yeah, is that's going, a sweet little piece of tech. It's really cool. Um, he's going to try, try to stealth over to the... Um, to the console, but my my idea is not to not to access the console. My idea is to kind of use my reptoid ability uh, to to kind of skitter, or like kind of crawl along the side of the bridge unseen, so I can get over at these guys. Oh, that's awesome! What, like down here? Yeah, 
Like, oh, like, oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> so I love it. Schmeagel on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> You can do that. <laughs> I'm, he's gonna look back and say, "Continue drawing fire, please." <laughs> okay, so, so you're, uh, but you're trying to go unnoticed, right? Yes. Okay, so give me the dex on fourteen for the sneak part. All right. You, yeah, twenty-two. I'm nice. Sorry, so you just twenty-one. Slink right over there, and you're on the side of the the bridge before anybody even notices. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so first, Voos. He sees that they've spotted um, Zondam, and he runs out next to him, and he has pulls out a little short sword. But to you guys, it's kind of like the size of a Bowie knife. <laughs> but for him, it's his little short sword, and he holds it up, and he's like, "You'll never defeat the people of Aster Twelve." And he's like, "He's a brave little bastard." <laughs> <laughs> he picks up a, a rock and throws a rock at one of the auto guns. Nice. And it just kind of clinks off the, the auto gun, and he's wow. like shaking his sword like he just like had a major victory. <laughs> um, Good work, little buddy. So now we've got some squag shots. <laughs> so rolling squag shots on Zondom. So first one here, oh, no. uh, 11 mod, that's a miss. Second one, 17 up, that's a hit. Five damage. Yeah. And third one, the guy in the back, 16 up. That's a hit. Oh, boy. Four more damage. Uh-oh. Okay. So they just they pepper the whole far end of the bridge with these um, particle gun shots. And then you also see the guy in the rear, this guy. He reaches down to his, his chest panel on his exosuit and hits like a green button. And at that moment the auto guns start to go and that's going to be my timer. Oh shit. And we'll do this one in turns, Jason style. So that is four turns. Oh, cool. oh yeah. So these so their, their barrels start spinning up and they're like there's little lights climbing up the sides of them as they they spool up to speed and then we come on back to Zondom. Already. Um <laughs> uh, I want to I need to heal I'm only at five. <laughs> oh man uh, yeah I, <laughs> it was a high armor you're drawing some good rolls I gotta do uh, bio break I'll be right back okay let's see is there is there anything that I can see that can maybe hunker down behind yeah, I mean, I, I think the console would probably provide cover and probably like, uh, see this little piece of stone here? I figure oh, so, yeah. okay. Okay, I just want to confirm. Uh, so I definitely want to do that. I'm going to hunker behind that stone there. Okay, so you dash across like Tom Hanks style and slide behind this little guy. Right, and I I go ahead and I need to, I need to get the, my, heal, my healing back up, so I'm going to try that. Take a restore. Yeah, let's get that con roll. All right, that is uh, 12. Oh, missed by two. Yeah. yeah. Yay me. All right, you're going to, oh, man, it's hairy already. you got to outthink this one. Was that, was that a mod 12? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, so Athos, you see one of your allies over there, like, trying to catch his breath, but he's just, he's out of wind. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so I, I can see him, like, through my little turtle mode, and and I again, I start start muttering prayers to to renew a divine shield on him yeah that's that's what you need <laughs> it's an interesting it's it's kind of you made yourself like a a shield healer rather than a hit point healer right because i don't i don't want to interfere with the balance of the universe by directly <laughs> interfering with the fates of others by healing them all right let's get that whiz roll <laughs> um okay uh Actually, no, that's not too bad. Uh, nine plus five is fourteen. So it, yeah, awesome. Just, just barely. <laughs> Sweet. So, so Zondam, you got the ten temporary back. Okay. Cool. That's some good news. Yay! And that's gonna go down to so that was three two is where so the the auto guns are halfway spun up. And Scar, welcome back, Matt. Cool. Thanks. So we've got. Uh, a renewal on Zondam's 
uh, Divine Shield, and he took cover. Cool. All right. And your move, my man. Okay. Uh, Scar is going to kind of um, quickly and silently uh, crawl along the edge of that bridge. And he is going to um, he's going to try to take one of his. I imagine his trapper gear, like his smart wires, are are in these little like pokeball like things that he can just like kind of like like throw. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna try to toss one of those one of those things at the uh, like a spool of smart wire at the, uh, the cannon that I'm that I'm near. Oh, I cool. choose you. Matt, okay, I love your character start. concept. Before you toss it too, let's do a sort of a, a black hack style usage die. Okay. So, um, give me a a fifty fifty on a say a d six. Okay. And on the good side of it, you have one more of these things. Cool. All right. Uh, on the bad yeah. side of it, this is your last one. Right up. I uh, rolled a three. So. So that's the. So this is your last your last trap. Cool. I'm gonna erase that from my character sheet then. Yeah, your last smart wire, but awesome usage. So. Just uh, since you're sideways on a wall, <laughs> let's let's just get a dex roll to, to get the baseball toss. Cool. All right. Here we go. Awesome idea, though. So it's just going to tangle the shit out of it. Yeah. Uh, 14 plus uh, 17. Awesome. Oh, that's beautiful. So it rolls up and bumps into one leg on the auto gun, and the wires just go out and go up all into the machinery, and they're all mucking the thing up. Cool. Okay, so at that moment, that brings us down to one. That's interesting. So the highest roll on a turn timer in a group of this size equals one round. It's kind of a mathematical oddity. Okay. Yeah. So I think we've got hard target on Zondam. So the first squad takes a shot at Voos. Mm. Oh, no. Voos has 10 armor. It's a hit. Okay. Voos takes seven. Seven. Oh, no. All right. Brings the shield down to three. Uh, next guy takes the hard shot at Zondam, even though it's a difficult shot. So he's hitting a, a 19. Good God. Oh, he goes a 16 mod. Almost got it. <laughs> All right. And the third one. Um, boy, that's a, that's a cruel. Oh, well, I'll just even it out. I'll go for Athos. So what's your uh, armor with the shell mode? In, in turtle mode, I'm going to add an 18. Holy <laughs> Wow. Hey, yeah. it's a 19 up. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> he's like picking out just in time <laughs> to take one like in the face. That's sad. <laughs> All right, so energy weapon incoming. Okay. Only four damage. Four yeah. damage. All right. So then our auto guns are completely spooled up. So this one on the top here is completely functional. So it just sprays the entire far end of the bridge. Oh, man. So uh, all three of you, well, no, I think Zondam, you're covered. So uh, Athos and Voos, let's get some dex saves. Okay. I'll, I'll roll for Voos. Should, should mine be hard since I'm like in a shell, like I can't move? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. So it's a 17 for you. No, I rolled a five. <laughs> yeah, Voos also failed. So these things unload for ultimate. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, and we got an 11. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, Unconscious Torten. Fatality. No, I think, uh, that takes you down, right, Athos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, on, I'm, uh, I'm knocked out. You're out, and Voos yeah. absorbs it because of your spell. Yeah, so 11 total on Voos, too? Yep. Yeah, so he still takes a little bit of damage, but he's he's still up. And then the other auto gun attempts to fire, and completely just tangles up, and basically just like bullets are getting all backwards inside the muzzle, and the whole thing is malfunctioning. Ah. Um. So let's give it its own timer, and in turns, this thing's going to explode. Oh, all right. No. And I got a one. So at the end of Austin's turn, this auto gun is just going to blow up. Yes. And then the other one begins to reload. And that's four turns, so that's a round. Oh, man, I love turn timers. They're kind of hot and heavy, huh? Right. Yes. Okay, Zondam, you're up, dude. That cover really paid off. Yeah, it did. All right. I'm going to 
I'm gonna take Scar's uh, last actions and kind of take his suit, and uh, I'm gonna pull out my blast pi- uh, rifle and shoot that console. Oh, just like right from where you are. Yeah. Awesome. So anything but a one. Seventeen. Nice. Why can I have this for everything else? So you blow this thing <laughs> away. And as you do, you notice, uh, and I'm going to use your token here, but right about here, okay. you see uh, an energy field, of like a force wall that flickers and deactivates and dissipates. Oh, okay. Oh. So it's pretty cool because you kind of blasted it before you guys even went and ran into it because Scar went around it and like... <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even know it was there. Pretty yeah. cool. It's like a little one-way, a little one-way missile wall that they use. Cool. Awesome one. Okay, Athos, you're up. All right, I'm rolling Let's my depth timer here. That, roll uh, for that, dying and then that, roll pop. That gun explodes too. Okay, uh, five. Oh, yeah. What do you got, Jason? All right, so I rolled a five, and then for my d20, uh, seven. So. Okay, so this auto gun explodes right as Zondam is blasting this console. Like this whole place is just, boosh, boosh, boosh. Oh, and uh, squags don't get dex checks. <laughs> so, so these bug, these guys, uh, all three of them take that explosion damage that that you guys suffered earlier. What? Uh, and it's a four that comes up. So all three of them are injured by shrapnel. Nice, cool. nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice play there, Scar. Thanks. And I, I love it too because it's just not conventional combat at all. It's just co- mm-hmm. completely off the wall. Well, no pun intended, since you're crawling <laughs> on a wall. Zing. <laughs> hey Um. And that goes to Scar, I believe. Uh, Scar is going to. Um, he's gonna. He's gonna jump up and uh, he's gonna reveal himself and. Um, is he hopes to get into the thick of combat there. Uh, he, he wants to run into melee. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run at all three of these guys and um, start, like, stabbing with, uh, stabbing and, like, zapping with the arc spear. So you're just going to hurl yourself in? <laughs> yeah, well, like, like, like I'm, I'm just going I'm, I'm just, I'm just to, like, kind of surprise attack these guys. Oh, and I go up by one hit point, plus one. He's Drax from uh, Guardians. Yeah, totally. He's yes. laughing as he flies toward he's, them. He's, um, <laughs> he, he's, he's just he just he just releases this like <laughs> like this, this like this like monster like like tiny dinosaur <laughs> like uh like, like growl <laughs> fucking frilled and, uh, lizard. Okay, right? so just making a melee attack on the front squad or um yeah, I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm trying right. to like, act as a focal point for these guys so they don't blow away my party. Uh, ooh, yeah, hey, 16 plus 2. There you go. Um, weapon damage. Ooh, wait. Wrong die. <laughs> that's your jam right there. Ooh, 6 plus 4, that's 10. Nice. Uh, I'm going to go, uh, he's got the, the shield thing too, right? Yeah, against energy weapons. Uh, against energy weapons. Yeah. But I, but I stabbed him. Right? Yeah. So, cool. Um, I'm going to use my, uh, I'm going to use my hero coin too. Oh, to stack it up? Yep. Okay. Uh, six uh, more does the job in one hit. Sweet. Eight. Hey! So you just impale him with the damn thing. Yeah, I imagine that he, uh, he, he runs at him and just with this sparking arc spear, stabs him and then just like holds him up and then like drops him and like just like looks like very menacingly at the, at the other two. Nice. Intimidation. Sweet. Badass central over here. Okay, so I've got a, a tick down on the auto gun. And I've got what was this guy. Can't recall. Cool. Roadhouse. So uh I think uh oh that was you. Okay, cool. So that's me. So first of all, it's Voos. So Voos does a double banana. Ah! Cool. And he's running, he's going to like try to, he can't make it far enough, but he's going to try to jump on the auto gun and ride it. (laughs) And then we've got three squag shots all on Scar, or two, I mean. So this guy's down. Brilliant. Um, Try not to forget to, I know I delete corpses, but there are corpses there if that's something that is useful for you guys. So first shot on Scar, uh, 12 armor, right? Yes, sir. 
Uh, it's a nine mod, so miss. Second one. It's an eight mod, double miss. Yeah, because you scared, nice. son. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got auto gun and Zondam, you're up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I, I can't I can't let them just take on all this. So I want to definitely move up as far as I can. Just a simple move. Uh, we should save the oh, torch on though, right? There's just little X's over my eyes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's got it. <laughs> it's good for five rounds. <laughs> um, I want to see if I can maybe uh, take out my blast uh, rifle and try to shoot uh, the one next to Scar. Take a shot. 14. That is 14. Nice. Roll it up. Four. All right, so his personal shield takes half of it. Okay. All righty. Um, all right, Athos, let's get that 20 and pop. All right, all right. So counting down, four rounds left. Yep. And uh, – Well, we got to be careful. We don't <laughs> – So close, 17. Okay. All right. Keep, keep counting down then. And Scar, you're up. Scar is going to uh... – He's going to, uh, um, man. He's going to tell his uh, his 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 uh, repair spider. He's like, seek out the totan, and then ah. he's, he's gonna he's gonna have his repair spider like, kind of skitter over to the uh, to the tordon and ah, nice. Thank while you. he <laughs> while he tries to zap this guy he's in front of, like just with a um. Great. No, so I'm, gonna, it'll, uh... I'm, I'm actually gonna try stabbing. So it'll get there. Yeah, that, that's fine. It'll get there on Athos' turn. Nice. Yep. Cool. It just goes running back across the bridge. And it's literally like the size of a baseball or smaller, right? It's like a... Yeah, I imagine I imagine it's like the around the size of this mouse. Right? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, stab this sucker. All right, cool. Oh, come so on. So Zondam just popped it with a blast shot. Oh, okay, this is... Uh, well, what's the target? 14. 14. Oh, uh, oh shit! I lost my page. Twelve. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, no, thirteen. Shit. Yeah. No, I didn't, so I didn't clank, it. right yeah. against the exosuit. Yep. And then we have our auto gun, but we'll do um, these two squags. So, I think just after seeing you run that guy through, you are their primary target. So let's do two squag shots. Good. Which is uh, we got to have that as a party drink. We got a mod five, so that's a miss, and we have a mod eleven for another miss. Dang, dude, you're just the wind dancer up there. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all like, no. <laughs> all right, Voos goes for the dex check on fourteen to jump on the gun, and he's got a nineteen up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so he lands on this thing, but it's also due now to unload. So I don't think he quite has any control of it quite yet. So that looks like. Uh, well, Athos is down, so it's just a Zondam save, looks like. So, deck save for you, Austin. Okay. All righty. So you're three? basically dodging this hail of fire that goes by. Uh, 17. Nice. Awesome, man. That's clutch. Does so, as that sort of uh, spray unloads, we'll go back for its spool up again. Oh, which is only one this time. Oh. Ooh. So basically, Voos like pulls a lever and gets control of it, and it's instantly spooled back up, and he's swinging it over toward the squags. Does did my uh, did my repair spider take any damage from that huge amount of bullets and fire and stuff? Um, just saying. <laughs> how about uh, <laughs> give me an anything but a one on a d right. twenty? It's a one. It got blown to tiny, so. I rolled a two. Oh, 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 oh my god! I almost died. Yeah. Oh man! <laughs> uh, minor point, guys. Um, okay, so Boos has got this thing. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> like he's on the. Uh, you know, the rodeo machine, the, <laughs> the bar horse or whatever it's called. <laughs> right. The mechanical bull. 
<laughs> yeah, if you want to go bowl, that's it. Oh, great. <laughs> He's got one arm up in the air. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, Zondam, so you just dodge this hail of fire and you're running across. That's so tough. Yeah. Um, I might go ahead and run across and get there. Yep, I think you're in reach. All right. So, uh, the one with the lowest is actually the one next on the right there, right? Uh, correct. The other one, yeah, the bottom one is the one that's more injured. Hmm. This is my prey. <laughs> <laughs> I want to actually try to go ahead and knock this uh, this other one on the top uh, and knock him. Try to see if I can knock him prone and knock him down nice. with my shield. Okay, so like let's shield do the, the strength competition bash. again. Yeah, shield bash. Yeah. Cool. Oh, oh nat 20 for me. <laughs> 14. Nat freaking 20 for me. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. So he, he actually oh, rebukes you like with the end of his gun. He like shoves you back and does you one damage. Okay. Oh no. Oh. That's close. <laughs> That's my first 20. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. All right, Athos. Okay. So repair I imagine that the repair spider reaches me, right? It like zaps me alive. Oh wait, and actually the auto gun goes off. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, the auto gun goes off. So do I, do I get a turn? Well, remember it was on one. Wait, I don't understand. Yeah, it was oh, we spooling on square? one. No, remember the auto gun's on a one turn timer. Oh, one yeah. turn, not round. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, one turn. Short DM timer. So oh, I think goodness. basically everyone in this group needs to save. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's just spraying the whole road. He doesn't know what he's doing. Ball roll for the squags. Oh. 15. I rolled a six. Miss. 15. <laughs> I missed for both. Okay. So, oh. Scar, you missed, and Zondam, you made it? Yeah, 15. Dang, Austin, you dice on fire. <laughs> All right, this thing does nine damage. Oh, that's so brutal. Shit. That sucks. You okay there? Beware giant laser emplacements. So I've both won. the squags are up, but they both just got filled with holes. I said I have one hit point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now Athos, your turn. Let me roll on the auto gun time. Okay. It's two. And Athos, you get the spider over and you get one hit point. Cool. So he like pops up and he's like confused and like, Where, where's the soup? <laughs> <laughs> you, you are the soup. <laughs> oh no. Um, uh, se seeing this tableau and quickly putting it together, Athos begins to to waddle. He's he's popped out of his turtle mode and he's like he's like no oh. and he's like waddling towards his his <laughs> friends, um, <laughs> and he's going to. Try to consult the worlds beyond time. Again, it's going to be hard to make. Uh, nope, thirteen. Oh, <laughs> that's for everybody getting ultimate too. Yeah, this is why oh, we can't. Man, nice that smell is so this cool. We can't have nice things. <laughs> All right, holy bejesus! So the auto gun goes down to one, and then we're to you, Scar. Scar is going to like uh, he is extremely injured, right? He is going to, um, you know, what Scar is going to do? Kind of like this backflip action onto uh, onto and try to like crawl onto the side of the bridge uh, out of sight again and try to try to stealth because he's he's knocking on death's door right now. Now he can't regenerate. No doubt. All right. Um, do I have to roll for that or anything? If you want to drop out of sight to where they don't know where you are, then yeah, make a dex. Okay. 19. I'm sorry, uh, uh, 18. So you just sort of vanish in the hail of fire, and they're not sure where you went. They think maybe actually you're just blown to smithereens. Predator. Perfect. Good. Yep. Yeah. And then the... It's what needs let's get these attention. two. So we've got... I think all fire is now concentrated on Zondam. Oh, sorry, buddy. So we got two squad <laughs> particle guns going off, uh, 17 mod and a 10 mod. So I got one hit. Okay. 
And we've got, oh, seven damage on the old D8 there. Okay. Then let's go for uh, random direction as the mechanical bull keeps spinning. <laughs> so we'll just do um, we'll just do a twelve. That's a clock. That's funny as hell. <laughs> so it's seven o'clock. Seven uh -oh. o'clock. So it's my direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is your direction. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> 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 the Voose is just like, this plan is going awry! <laughs> and it fires, so Athos, make that deck save, brother. Oh, oh man. Uh, nope, 10. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, <dude. laughs> I mean, okay. he's a, he's a, he's a the, wobbling yeah, turtle, right? So. For the gun. <laughs> oh! Oh. And I have a, it's on camera. Have a, it's oh, a man, that's epic. Fate that's, smiles upon you, sir. Well, the, the, this, I mean, you've only got one hit point. The spider's going to heal you one hit point. Right? Yeah, I was just going to say. Because is the spider like, does it stay on me? Yeah, I didn't recall it. Yeah, oh, I think okay. it's, it's sort of yours now. I can, okay. I can, I can, I can be like, boop, and it'll run back here. Yeah. <laughs> So basically, it does the one, which is all you had, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I like, bloop, and I fall over into my back, my little turtle legs. How many? Yep, and then the spider, <laughs> what, instantly goes to work, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so I think you're then you sort of pop with one again. Yeah, and then I pop with one. I like, I like roll back over. Turtle's worst nightmare. Interesting. <laughs> so when, when you have that spider, it needs to sort of take one to work take a turn to work, doesn't it? Otherwise, yeah, you sort of become immortal. Yeah. Yeah, I never didn't actually think about that in terms yeah. of the, the So it's the actually system. sitting there working on you. Yeah. And then you pop your next turn. OK, So, Sounds so good. Yeah, so the spider does, in a way, make you immortal until it's destroyed. Uh, but you are, you are like, taken out of the action for a turn while it, it patches you up. Sounds cool. good. Yeah, it's still cool. still can fail, though, right? Or What's that? Can it still fail uh, with, like, a roll? I can't remember. I think it just happens. Yeah, I think oh, it okay. just works. Yeah, I think the only okay. risk to it is like when you're doing stuff like when it moved across the bridge, or if you're, Got it. Okay. you know, like if you have an enemy that can destroy equipment and stuff like that, then that's where it comes at risk. I, I mean, if it's the size of a baseball, I mean, you know, <laughs> it's pretty hard to hit. Yeah. Okay, so Athos is living a tenuous lifestyle over there. <laughs> Little turtle legs in the air. <laughs> um, and who? That was an auto gun. So whose go is it? Uh, I believe mine. Okay. Alrighty. Um, I'm in a dire situation here. Uh, <laughs> I want to hit the uh, one to the right of me. Uh, see if I can uh, knock him out or kill him. Yeah, he's uh, five. Will do the job. Okay. Oh, Eighteen. Nice. All right. Finish him off. You can do it. Shoot. Huh? Uh, five damage. Hey, nice. Nice. Chop one of his arms off and the sword goes halfway through his neck. Oh, bummer. Thank you. Awesome. Again. Sweet. Doing that, doing that thing, doing that sword work. Okay. Uh, Athos. So you pop up with one. Yeah. He pops up with one and he, uh, he goes, okay, bad idea. And he like goes back into turtle mode, uh, but he's still seeking the guidance of the universe to uh, to aid with his friends with his wisdom. Right. So words on time. That was last round, right? So it's a it's an eleven. Yes, nineteen. Oh, yeah. So we're good. Oh, didn't even need it. Boom. So everybody's got ultimate on their next success. Yep. Sweet. So back make sure to keep track of that. <laughs> <laughs> so Scar, you're up. Uh, Scar is going to try to recover. There you go. Oh, so yeah, you could really recover here with the with the spell, right? Um, so okay. con on fourteen. Yeah, sixteen. Nice. So take your one plus your con bonus plus a d twelve roll. Wow. Okay. Cool. D twelve is ten. Happy Ooh. day. Wow. Oh. Oh. Yes. Reptilian yeah. regeneration, son. That's all. Yeah. That vitamin A. <laughs> Volatile hit points. 
the universe's path has spoken. Okay, so Voos is going to try to, like, basically steer this thing into the ground and have it damage itself. Damn, I'm at full hit points now. And he's got a 15 up on his strength check, so he basically finally figures out how to steer the damn mechanical bull. <laughs> and instead of trying to aim it at the squag, he just aims it into the ground and it starts firing and it just starts munging itself up and destroying itself. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Finally. For my people! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now we've got a squad on. shot, and it looks like Zondam is the target. He needs to get some smart. Oh, we got a mod seven. Okay. Yes. Man, I, I think you dodged like twelve bullets <laughs> running across this bridge. <laughs> yeah, you, it's like, that <laughs> super shield of his is like impervium. Yeah. Well, just, well, well uh, I do, I do want to mention too. Um, I think I. Uh, I forgot to count this. That aura that I have around me uh, is down, so I'm down to uh, 14 now instead of 16. So just okay. to that but uh, let me roll the timer for that to come back up. Two two rounds or two oh, turns. Right, because you had that the the instable shield. Oh, right, that you're gonna do. Yeah. Uh, is uh yeah, it's two. Do you think it should be rounds or or uh, turns? E either one. It was kind of the an item of your designing. <laughs> um, I think it's fair to do rounds. Cool. Yeah. And on that note, we come back to you, Austin. Okay. Um, Alrighty. Do something cool. How close uh, am I uh, to that bridge? I mean, because what I want to do is I want to grab him and just try to throw him off of it. <laughs> Some, <laughs> there was no way this encounter was going to end without somebody getting thrown off this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you can just do like a judo spin on him and, and chuck him from where you are. Right. So let's do the uh, the contested uh, strength checks again. I've got two on this roll. Okay. Oh! Oh, oh that's a really high roll. <laughs> I, I have actually 18 also. Oh! oh. <laughs> roll again. Count roll, roll off. Okay. 14. Roll off. Roll off. Mod five. It was mine's mod 14, so. And there it is. <laughs> <laughs> as he falls down into the gorge, he actually sees Scar on the side of the bridge, and he has this confused look as he plummets down. <laughs> he hits the rocks at the bottom of the gorge, and his self-destruct on his exosuit goes off and blows him to bits. Yes, that's tough. <laughs> Yay. Voos runs over to the side of the bridge, and he's, he's jumping up and down, waving his teeny little sword like, ah. That'll teach you to mess with the people of Aster Twelve. Voss, you did good. Just, ju Voss. just then, I, ju I, I jumped back onto the bridge, like right next to him. Oh, you're right there. Yes. You guys, <laughs> great. We'll totally be able to save my people, but after a five-minute break. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for tuning in, everybody. We've had, uh, I don't know, around uh, eighty or so people watching all night long so thanks everybody for tuning in we're going to take a five minutes to let our dogs go to the bathroom and uh fill our mugs and we'll be back and we'll uh finish this uh, adventure up so thanks for watching everybody we'll be right back this one requires snacks, snacks. <laughs> nfg
Getting a little dark in here. Getting a little dark in here. Getting a little crazy. This elf shall be sacrificed to the hunger gods. <laughs> <laughs> we offer this cracker to the stomach beast. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, tonight we have been playing Index Card RPG. We're playing online. And um, for those of you who are new to the whole mess, um, there's the book. You can get the book uh, on Drive Through RPG and uh, just look up Runehammer or look up ICRPG. And uh, when you get your PDF there on Drive Through RPG, you'll also get everything uh, that you're seeing tonight, except for the maps. Those are from Two Minute Tabletop. But you get all the tokens and cards and everything in digital form um, for playing online. And then you'll also you can get a soft back book, you can get a hard back book. Um, so please jump over there, and if you're into this kind of madness, give it a try. Um, the the game as a system, I feel like is actually sticking to the wall pretty good. You, you never know when you're making stuff like this, if it's going to go nowhere or, or be awesome or be a flash in the pan, but it, it seems to be sticking around and that's really exciting. So uh, if you can join in, it's a great way to support uh, Drunkens and Dragons and keep this whole ball of crazy rolling down the hill. Um, if you're more into the story side and the sort of the, the DM tips and stuff like that, please run over to Patreon. Uh, I'm called Runehammer on Patreon and uh, chuck a dollar in the skull and uh, keep this whole thing happening. So, and for those of you who have all done that, which is lots of you, thanks so much for your support. And uh, thanks for just showing up to hang out more than anything. Okay, so there the panhandling section is done. And uh, my three players here are hanging on for dear life. So we're, we're definitely getting a little bit of what I was wanting to experiment with tonight, which is two big things. One was speed. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like our turns are just ripping by. Yeah. Like, they're just flying. And I, 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 and I first, we were, I felt a little like we were pushing the, the speed lever, but now it just sort of feels natural. I love it, man. Yeah, it's just yeah. so many so many dice have been tossed <laughs> already tonight. Yeah. So I mean, the way I look at it, it's something's always going on, and that's what's great. Yeah, awesome. Whether it's so, us or you guys. So uh, the other one that I was wanting to goof with, and it's going to get a little worse before it gets better, is sort <laughs> of the idea of spiking damage um, and experimenting with it. As a, a lot of people have noticed, uh, index card RPG can be highly deadly, but also with lots of healing. Uh, so when there's this much healing, uh, I'm kind of still curious where that sort of envelope finds its happy place. And uh, especially you guys have like high tech gear which uh, I can definitely feel it as the DM is more powerful than the fantasy gear. So it's, uh, it, I don't know, it's just an interesting sort of experiment to try to change these dials a little bit on the game and uh, see where everything goes. Yeah. So without further ado, if you guys are ready to dodge some more bullets, I think we should try to save Voos's people. Onward! All right, All right great. Yes. So once again, if you like the map art that you're seeing tonight, that is all done by Two Minute Tabletop on Patreon. Um, really low prices to get everything he makes. The guy is really prolific, and uh, I just love his work, especially now that he's switched to an isometric kind of style. It really like unlocked his style, and he used to do top down. Yeah. And now I just I just can't wait to see what he does next, and and run more games with his awesome art. It's just really cool. I'm supporting him as we speak. Yeah, I'm awesome. super interested. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like that, that that adds such a, an awesome layer of depth that you can run on the side of walls, you know, or climb up on the bluff. It, it this really, is, you can this feel is it. fantastic. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, I'm a really, really big fan of, well, you guys know where I sit on all this stuff, of having something to sort of stare at while you play. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a board game, but for me, there's just something really powerful in 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 working into an image it tells its own story without like millions of words and, and yeah. I, I really enjoy it i mean all those things are always there right it's just that seeing it adds that next layer where you can interpret oh yeah, yeah i could do this yeah so you guys go dashing away from this fortified bridge which is now basically like torn to shreds it's filled with bullet holes and scorch marks and shrapnel is behind you uh if your presence wasn't known before after the few explosions and the all that gunfire, definitely someone knows you're coming now. So 
Voos, being this crazy, brave little goblin, keeps on running straight ahead. And you guys sort of round a corner, and there are these uh, sort of where the stone kind of breaks apart into more of a grassy area. This is where the goblins have one of their main settlements. Cool. And this is a place they call Big Rock. Goblins aren't really known for poetic town names. So here we go for Big Rock. And just since we had our snack and we had our bio, let's roll for initiative again. So you guys come around the bend. And uh, there's also these next, uh, the last two maps of the night. Um, I, I actually kind of modified some of the two, two minute tabletops work, um, which I, it's just, I think the fun of it. And he, he even has it in his license, you know, that you can kind of muck with his artwork a little bit and make it fit your game. And the guy's just awesome. Okay, so you guys come around the bend, and here you can see yourselves down here. Let me get uh, little old Voos here next to you. And yeah, you want to get those D20s up, and let's let's reboot initiative, see if we can get someone else going first. Oh, 19. Matt, Matt and I tied at 19. Oh, oh, oh it's on. Yeah. 13. Yeah. All right, well, let's count roll off then. 19 second time in a row. 13. Aw. Oh. So, Athos, you're up first? Yes, I'm up first. Okay, so you come around to this this sort of encampment that's around this big sort of megalith. And uh, you kind of, uh, for once in your lifetime, there's a torton <laughs> at the fore. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I get I get one back from my little spider dude, probably, right? Been Correct. Two, so you two should guys. be sitting at two now, right? Yeah, sitting at two. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and knowing, well, suspecting what's coming, I'm going to, instead of, instead of resting to heal myself up, I'm going to, I'm going to once again, try and bolster uh, my comrades with the words beyond time. Just kind of help see what's coming. 19. That's three in a row. Crazy. Nice. All right. Okay. So that's, uh, everyone's got ultimate on their next success again. And, uh, Actually, this time, you you feel the the time distortion caused by that spell actually hurts a little bit. It kind of bites your brain a little bit. And okay. let's get your burn dice going. Okay. So so put one on a d four. All right. One on so a four. you've been you've been casting kind of like nonstop, and it's starting to hurt. Yeah. School so now the gods can only take you so far, right? Yep. So now each cast, you're going to click that guy up. Okay. When he reaches four, you're going to roll him, and that's how long your sort of ma your magic has to cool. Yes. Yep. So you can track that on your own, and uh, and how many hit points is Voos sitting on now? Uh, he's he's he has two. Two. <laughs> Shit. Laser cannons hurt. All right, I might have to take a recovery on him. So, so uh, that's Athos's turn. He casts the spell, and uh, you guys' location is not yet. Not yet known. They don't know exactly where you are. They just know somebody's coming up the road because the bridge has all this smoke and fire. So, Scar, you're up, my man. You're on mute. Yep, you're muted, brother. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Scar is going to uh, kind of stealthily go up to uh, the the rock that's kind of in front of us, um, trying to remain un uh, you know unseen. What's uh, what's our what's our Oh wait, let me go. I need my target. I think we'll just uh, we're gonna stick out of fourteen. Oh, one, one million. <laughs> yeah, that's some brutal foreshadowing, huh? I didn't even realize that. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Okay, so Dex on fourteen to sneak up, my brother. Dex on fourteen. Yeah, it's nineteen. Nice. So you just lizard right up to that rock. And nobody even knows you're there. <laughs> and and that kind of looks like about a banana for me, so that leaves you in action if you want one. Well, I'm gonna kind of like survey this, and like see see if I can um, like uh, learn anything by just kind of like peeking peeking out and being like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a wisdom then, real quick. Wisdom. Fourteen exactly. So. Up there in the center, you you can see the token for it, but um, you see that there's a squag up there, you know, sort of a, a patroller. There's goblins all around, but right at the center is this 
thing. What the so, what the frack is this thing? It's yeah. uh, basically like looks like powered battle armor, and then in the, oh. the the sort of the cockpit or the the canopy, it's sort of filled with this purple gas, and in the gas there's like a floating skull. <laughs> That's cool. And, oh. and this thing is kind of looking around and surveying the scene, and it's clearly like alerted. <clears throat> But you've never seen anything quite like this in your travels yet. So you can see his token right here. Great. Okay, so that brings us to me. Um, and how did that dog get in here? That's crazy. All right. So That's Boots great. is going to go for recovery. Two on the roll. Oh, mod seven. So he just he, he tries to bandage himself, and he accidentally eats the bandage. <laughs> Does he gain any any hit points from that? <laughs> My people, <laughs> I failed them. <laughs> so now we get into my timer here. Oh, which is a one. As you guys are entering this space, this goblin up here, you see him sort of struggling and shaking his head. And he... He sort of goes through this weird energy shimmer and transforms oh. and pops and becomes a squad trooper, complete with particle gun and exosuit. So you're not quite sure how this technology works, but it it seems like they're they're basically trying to convert the whole population of this planet into squad warriors. Mm. Uh, and then I've got my timer out, and that's it for me. So Zandam, you're up, my man. Where Scar is, is that rock big enough for me to, to stand next to him with it? Whew. Uh, well, I make the, the stealth would be hard for both of you to hide there. Mm. So that could be a tough, tough roll. Not impossible. I do. I'm not going to risk it because I definitely need the heal too. So I want to do a restore from just kind of back here with, uh, with Athos. Okay, roll that con then. Or not. That's uh, that's eight mod. Oh, accidentally stuck your finger in a bullet hole. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Athos. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Everybody says like, "Geez, you'll never die when you get free recoveries on a turn." It's like, no, be a player and feel the pain. Oh, yeah. You you gain a hit point. Oh yeah, Athos. Don't forget your spider, so you gain a hit point. Yeah. Oh, dude, I totally forgot about that. Thank you. Yep. All right, three, three, three. Good. Um, I I can see the time is running out, so I'm gonna I'm gonna strain my my will with the gods, kind of putting my mind to it, and I'm gonna try and buff uh, Zamdam with uh, the divine shield. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Mod sixteen. Cool. Nice. So. so there's that disposable 10 again, Austin. All right. And okay. click up your burn one. Athos. Yep. Thank you. At two. Yep, it's getting real there. And Scar, it's back to you again, my brother. Um, all right. Scar is going to... Uh, what is this thing over here? Oh, you can't even see my... Um, what, is, what is that, like, skiff thing with, like, tanks or whatever on it? What's that? What what is what is that little like it looks like a like a little hover dolly or something like that, like like above that squag that just turned? Like what is that? Yeah, I mean without sort of taking time to inspect it, I think you get about the data you can gather from the art. Okay, cool. Uh well I'm gonna try to dash to that other rock while remaining undetected. Skippers, <laughs> 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 right? <laughs> right. Fucking frilled lizard. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you, you remind me of uh, yeah. was it Breath of the Wild lizards. Yeah, yeah totally. I, I just just wait till one of them like, is is busy. Yeah. You know, just go right over there. Okay, I imagine so like, uh, super uh, sharp movements. Like, well, let's get that. Yeah, let's get that dex roll again on fourteen. Is that easy since I did it last turn? <laughs> no, because that's when you fail. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Oh shit! All right, uh, I roll a five. Oh, yeah. So they see this lizard run from rock to rock. <laughs> At least you have cover. 
Yeah, so these sort of nearby, I mean, the squad guys are right there, too. Oh, gosh. But yeah, you do have some. <laughs> and, and then what was your action? Uh, my action, um, since I, I, I have, I mean, I guess my action is going to have to be to uh, to open fire, right? I'm going to I'm gonna shoot at the nearest squad with my, uh, with my arc spear. <laughs> Holy shit. So that's this guy, right? I guess. Okay, let me get some... Uh... Let me get some letters set up here. As far as I'm aware, like they don't they don't know my uh my my friends exist yet, so Okay, so take your shot. All right. Hit a fourteen. That is eighteen. Nice. Six. Okay, that is five damage. All right, so he takes oh, you had ultimate too. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Nice. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, so that's five plus six. So uh, nice. I want to still great. So he ta he takes half that. So his personal shield absorbs a bunch of the energy from your spear. Yeah, arc spear, <laughs> and he gets a zero on you. He like sort of you kind of like make eye contact with each other. Yeah, and that's his shot then. So he's just going to return fire, and he's going to drop back into these sort of little wood structures. Yes. And he's going to take cover too. So you guys are kind of like in a police like shootout. <laughs> nice. And he's got a 18 mod. That's a hit, right? Uh, yeah, that's, that's definitely a hit. I'm and that's five damage. Oh no. All right, man. Engaging with these guys is gnarly. That's oh yeah. Lizolfos. That's what they're called. <laughs> we have a Lizolfo in our group. So I'm okay with this. Not having any other uh any other targets. I think this his uh his squad mate here takes a shot at uh Scar as well. I'm behind cover. And this one's gonna be a hard <laughs> shot. Yeah. So seven uh so three on your I rolled a thirteen mod. What's your armor class? Or armor? Twelve. So he's trying to hit a fifteen. So he's his uh particle blast hits the rock. Okay, cool. This one could use assistance. So this power armor steps forward and is like surveying this situation. Uh -oh. And it's like, uh, it's just this skull sort of looking side to side. That is so creepy. And he holds one of these big sort of hydraulically powered glove hands out and conjures up a little ball of purple energy and tosses it. And it lands sort of out here between you and the squags near the rock, like right here. Okay. And you see it sort of start to vibrate and shake and become unstable. <gasps> oh. Arcane bomb. And just because I believe in meta so much, that was the time I just rolled there. Well, I can't this, see. This was encounter start timer, so that guy also pops. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's a one. Yeah. It's a one. Yeah. Okay. So that'll that'll pop on my next go. So since that timer runs out, this guy. Oh. No, 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 we must save them. We must save the brothers. So let me re-roll the transformation timer. It's a three. And that is my turn, guys. So Zandam, you're up, my brother. Let's do this. Ah, oh, man. As as unpopular as this might be, I want to kill one of the goblins, but <laughs> uh, I, I immediately thought of that, but uh, then I thought, what would Obi-Wan do? I know. But I survived. <laughs> That's all I care about, and uh, knocking out uh, one of them in the game would be good. <laughs> um, oh, man. That's a heavy moral choice. No, Voss. Don't look. Can I make it to that bottom left one? <laughs> I think like tanks. this would be about a, a double dash right here. Oh man, okay. Um, Do not add to the imbalance, brothers. For now, oh, I'm gonna gosh, go I hope that I'm gonna go to that go first uh, rock in front of me in the middle. Okay. And um, I'm gonna try to. Oh man. Right. I. Sorry, <laughs> um, I, I want to shoot um, 
Those two guys are up cover. Is that bottom left one on cover? No, he just popped, so he's kind of okay. confused. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Um, shoot, man. <laughs> I'm going to shoot Harry. him. Yeah, I'm going to shoot him. No, I'm going to shoot the big guy. Yeah, let's see. Yes. There you go. That's the spirit. Yep. Okay, so hit a 14 right with your blast <laughs> rifle shot. <laughs> you rolled a one? Oh, oh it's nice. an at tw- There it is. Nice. Oh, and nice. you have the ultimate nice. from my ultimate, right? Yeah, you you do. You do. Yep. And he's uh, got the, the words beyond time. Does he have uh does he have the shield like the other two other guys? No, he doesn't. He is physically armored. All right. I'm gonna pop a hero coin too. What? Oh. oh my gosh. That's like three three D twelves? Normal. Six five. Eight. 19 damage. Oh. Damn, that is that's the hit of the night right there. Hitting hard. <laughs> Two Damn. hearts of damage. Damn. So you blast one of his arms right off. Okay. It just rips off and there's like wires sparking and hydraulic fluid shooting out. And, <laughs> you know, you have to sort of pop out to take that shot and he instantly... After he's done reeling from it, he looks right at you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. I look at him and just um, with one hand. <laughs> Bruce Lee style. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> and then okay. I go hunker behind the rock again. <laughs> okay, those, you're up, man. It's, uh, now it's really been provoked. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Athos, Athos knows that we're just, we're just, there's, there's, there's too much going on here. We must, we must press on. So he, uh, he's gonna burn another charge on his his little countdown timer, uh, and he's gonna push it for another words with that time. And you get a hit point. Yeah, and I get a hit point, but I'll probably lose it from the. Oh no, well I guess. So your your burn is up to three, and you'll go for words again. Yeah, I'm gonna go for words again. Okay. We just. We gotta get through this. Uh, fourteen. So just barely oh made it. Barely. What do you got? Fourteen. Nice. Oh, just, just barely like. Okay, so you guys uh, keep track of that. So you've got it again. Yep. I only have one more charge, and then I'm gonna be I'm gonna be out for a while. Okay, Scar. Scar is going to I am I am not in great shape. I have five hit points, but I am going to try to run over to that uh that little like it looks like a hover thing of some kind. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to inspect that and see what it is. Dude, great. So give me a, an anything but a one to run across there. Sixteen. Okay, great. So you zip across and sure enough, I mean just if we want to kind of zoom in a little bit. Oh, so it's this sort of a uh, magnetic hovering, you know, dolly or it's like transport bombs. cart. And uh, on this transport cart, there are four big tanks with this kind of, you know, like radioactive explosive warning sticker on the side. Ooh. Um, so since squad tech isn't really that high end, I think we'll just keep that theme kind of going. So you're like, Oh man, these squags are still using like fission fuel. Like these guys are crazy. This stuff is super volatile. Like nobody (laughs) uses this anymore. Blow them up. Everyone just uses ion drives now, but these guys still are carrying like huge cans of gas around. How how big are the canisters? Um, I would say bigger than Voos. So maybe four foot tall and uh, you know, eighteen inches in diameter. You know, kind of like a big acetylene tank. Okay. All right. Man. So hey, Matt, Matt, what? blow them up. Oh, yeah. You think? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Absolutely. Blow yeah, them no, up I, near I, the other guys. Like, no, I guess, in and... <laughs> no, I, I, okay. So, so, um, so you've got your half move has been done. Your, your banana has been done. So you've got your action or another move. I definitely want to, um, I definitely want to like try to try to like hover this thing like to like point it or push it or or something like that in the direction of the squags. Like this way. 
attached. <laughs> yeah, like no, like, like more into like that ring, of, more like like behind them, like there. Yeah. So yeah, it, it floats frictionlessly. Ah, nice, cool. And so, now it's uh, in the open. So someone please shoot that. So <laughs> just give me a, another anything but a one to not kind of trip on a rock and push it the wrong direction. Six. Okay. Nice. So yeah, it just kind of floats on over and kind of bumps against this little banner in the dirt here. And it's kind of floating behind these guys. And they're all like, you know, firing their guns and they're completely engaged. Um, so it's just behind them. They're nice move. Okay, I, so I am that gonna goes die. back to me. And the arcane bomb goes off. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. And I think the only person within near is gotta be Zondom. So, holy shit on that. This thing is deadly as hell. So, uh, give me a deck save there, Austin. Oh, basically, to, basically want, and you know what? Make it easy because you've got a little bit of cover. Can he want, Captain America that stuff with his geranium shield? <laughs> well, I mean, he could sacrifice it if he needs to, but then he'll be. I, I, I don't want to look at it. Eight and 11. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> what it's is us. It? It's six. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh no! But you've got you've got my my little ten shield on you. Yeah, I'm at fifteen. Yeah. No. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's it. He's out. He's out. Some lot. Yep. Twenty nine damage. Oh gosh. So if, I, so if I sacrifice my shield, will that do anything? <laughs> it absorbs. You know, if it was stuff. within like two or three or maybe then i think it'd be okay but that just blows you to smithereens yeah. right yeah oh, so God. it's not uh you didn't go to negative 20 did you uh 29 uh no yeah okay so you're just knocked down and oh, can you man. use like a uh, maybe a d8 and randomly choose a piece of your gear that's blown to bits okay any of my gear huh okay yeah, so I, if you have, you know, like six to ten pieces of gear, you can maybe use a D10 to pick one and just kind of go down the line is usually what I do. Oh, sorry, okay. Two, three, four, five, six. You lost your pouch of coin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what that's for. Uh, I lost my armor kit. So I'm What's down that? one. I lost my armor kit, so I'm down one armor. Okay, cool. So yeah, it blows some of your your armor to bits. So, yeah, I'm done. And Dom Dom goes down. I feel like on that too, my aura goes down. That just like obliterates it back down. It even it doesn't even take the four. It just goes all the way down. I feel like that's fair. Okay. So, just just let me, let me wrap my little walnut around what just happened. So, you just you just took twenty nine damage, right? But you yep. sacrificed your shield and still got like damage. Um, your equipment well, I don't know. I kind of canceled on the shield thing. He just said to do the random uh, roll and, and get rid of one, which is my armor kit. Are you down? Is the, uh, is the oh, he's down as all. Get out, though. What was that? Is the shield sacrifice rule written out? Uh, yeah. Where is yeah, that? It's, it's in basic shield. Yeah. Like common shield. Oh, right. Because you can check it out real quick. I'm looking at it. Common shields can be sacrificed to absorb all of one hit against you and be destroyed. Yeah. But, okay. I don't know. It's an impervium shield, though. But Damn. Can you still do that? Well, you know what? If you want to blow the impervium shield to bits, uh, I'll let you half the damage. Just because right. it's such a huge amount. Yeah. That still takes me down. <laughs> Yeah, uh, see, I think that's why it's like... You shouldn't it's a, blow the shield. Yeah, I'm rather... Yeah, that's just gonna, an interesting rule, too. It's like that one almost should should mention, like, a conventional attack. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. It's yeah. like if you're getting hit with, like, a Warhammer, then that's when you would want to do that move, not, like, a freaking bomb. Yeah. 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 Or, or, or like, a mag like, a torrent of fire or something like that. Yeah, so I think it should... Probably we'll do an edit on that one that says, like, a melee attack. It can absorb all of one melee attack. So yeah. with the, with uh, an added thing to this too, with the blast, do I get knocked back? Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm not going to sacrifice the shield because it's not worth it. Uh, okay. But my armor kit still gets obliterated. So. All right, good, awesome. So you are down, but you're just smoldering. You're still in one piece. I'm at 13 right now. Just a note. Okay, and then we have 
good old squag shots. It's a frat party because we're taking squag shots. First one, mod 10. It's a miss. Second one comes out of his little position. Mod 5. Nice. Scars dodging bullets. Um, so sort of pleased with his, uh, his bomb results. This guy walks down. Uh, he sort of looks around. I'm not sure he's... Well, uh, Athos has been back there casting spells. Oh, I forgot poor Voos. He's just been hiding back here. I've been trying yeah. to... I've been wanting to regenerate him. So this guy comes forward and announces himself. He's like, I am Torzak, commander of the Squag Assault Army. Drop your weapons and you will be given a swift death or keep fighting and rot in a pain cell. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, at that, he casts, well, he's going to attempt to cast another spell. Okay, so he holds one hand up again. Well, his only remaining hand. And uh, it has this purple energy to it. Three on the roll. I'm trying to beat a 14. 14 up. So he casts, is it control? Oh, no, okay, it's control, yeah. Control, uh, he's cast control machines. What? Manipulate a machine within far range. So he is going to call the spider over to himself. No, not oh. the oh. So now Torzak has the repair spider. And real quick, I'd like to roll for Voos to try to recover. And he misses, damn it. And then we've got a squag shot on Athos. Got a lot going on here. It's an 11. Does that hit you, Athos? No. Okay. And then we've got the timer on transformation counts to two. And that is my turn, gentlemen. Zondam, you're up, my man. Already. Um, go, go cut this I, fool. <laughs> I, I rolled a four to get, uh, to get back up. I'm down. Oh, that's right. Ooh. So you got your four. Did you do your timer? Yeah, that was my four. Okay, so then roll your d20 to see if you can pop. <sighs> Seven. All right. Okay, Athos. Your your skull's starting to starting to vibrate under the weight of all this magic. Yeah. Um I I have this moment of intuition where I want to do something a little bit crazy. Oh great. <laughs> crazy crazy so, old turtle. <laughs> crazy old turtle. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna waddle up um to that to that rock. Hopefully that's I can move that far. Yep. Uh, to sort of take it to take cover, but while I'm doing it, I'm sort of giggling and I'm pulling uh, the flare out of my supply thing and I'm lighting it, and I'm going to take my little walking stick and just like whoop, and see if I can uh, knock it over onto the the explosive cart. It's <laughs> 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 like giggling madly the whole time. <laughs> Give me the decks for the for the aim on the flare. Oh come on. Oh man. 19. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. My so number. The, nice. the flare nestles comfortably right between all four of these tanks. <laughs> and uh, since it's your shot, why don't you give me a 1d4 on the detonation and we're going to, we'll, we'll do that in turns. Okay. One. Holy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so at the end yeah. of Scar's turn, it'll blow. Yeah. So, so actually, the flare act like goes into one of the release valves on one of the tanks. <laughs> like it just, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> we got oh, a ringer. No. <laughs> you need the rise. <laughs> like you, you carnival gamed it basically. <laughs> nice one. Take a coin on that one, Jason. Wow. <laughs> okay, Scar, you're up, dude. So you see this flare go caroming across the battlefield and go bloop right into the lid of one of the tanks. Ooh, okay. Uh, he, all right, he's gonna take a panic shot at the 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 uh, at Torzak there, and he's gonna and then run back to the uh, to take cover behind the rock because uh, <laughs> shit gonna blow up. Okay, so <laughs> take a shot at Torzak first. All right, shot at Torzak. Um, that's a natural one. Oh, okay. Roll for the roll for the blunder. Please don't uh, hit me. 
That is another natural one. <gasps> what? Whew. Yeah, I think it uh, looks like it's it's taking a shot at Athos. Yeah, I was just going to say it probably yeah. like. <laughs> that lineup is just too good. So roll your oh. damage on Athos. No. <laughs> Athos, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Do I get to roll or no? Or is it my, will my armor help? <laughs> he cast a confuse. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I rolled maximum damage. So Is that eight? No, that's that's ten. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, no. So, so it's it's six plus you know four for my weapon damage mod. So I don't I, I don't get a chance to dodge. I zap you. I'm <laughs> sorry, dude. I freaking zapped you with lightning. I'm so sorry. Man, that blunder stuff never happens. <laughs> oh yeah, except always. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, I'm down. Uh, Not cool, sorry. bro. Not cool. So, and right after his ultimate moment, too. <laughs> so, so, re- so to, to be clear, <laughs> the whole party uh, has a combined total of seven hit points right now. Well, we got Voos, too. Yeah, that's who I'm counting. <laughs> <laughs> that's frightening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, well, well, that was well, I'm exciting. Gonna, I'm going to hide behind that rock. So... You come sliding over with a little lizard tear, <laughs> sliding down your scaly. Like, 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 like the light glinted off one of the domes of on one of their things, and and like blinded me as I <laughs> shot you. I'm so sorry. That's so awesome, though. So, boom! This thing goes off, and luckily, you guys actually have really good positioning for this explosion. Yeah, because it's like nuclear fuel or something, right? I mean, it's... granted, you're down, but like Voos is way <laughs> the hell over here, and Scar has cover. Like, it's actually a pretty good setup. So yeah. this shit just explodes. It just wipes, practically wipes this settlement off the map. Ooh. And <laughs> it it lifts such a huge cloud of dust and debris, it actually gets dark. Wow. So, like, this big black cloud goes up and sort of slows in the sky and, like, blocks out the sun. It's like a mushroom cloud. <laughs> yeah, it's a huge sort of really slow-moving mushroom cloud, and it gets dark. Oh. Like, the whole area goes dark, like like nighttime dark. And this uh, sort of circular area up here that you guys are seeing is completely, like, basically excavated. It's, like, emptied by this explosion. Dang. Poor goblins, I'm sorry. Oh, and we go to this. So what let me grab that? your tokens real quick. Um, I'm not gonna lie, my heart's just like going like this. Just yeah. <laughs> this is unexpected. <laughs> Voss needs to be the hero. If only you could burn hero coins to like pop up. Let me get Voos. Oh, Voos, sorry. Boos is going to become the. He's, he's oh, going to man. become our MVP. This is such an epic know, right? map idea. So yeah. when the the cloud sort of blocks out the sun, and this crater is dug out, this big rock, that this this it actually is just the tip of a starship. What the frack? So this this uh, goblin settlement had been built around what they thought was a big rock sticking out of the ground, but it's actually like the nose of a starship that was buried here. Uh, and this guy is also blown to bits. Good. So the only, as the smoke clears, the only thing you see are these, these really tiny lights in the tops of these rocks, which in daylight, it was too bright to see them, but they're these tiny, kind of like a laser pointer almost, that yeah. are pointing straight up. Cool. And then as the smoke clears, you see this glowing purple helmet with this skull floating in it come through the smoke. Oh, man. He strides forward, and he only has one arm left. <laughs> and he holds this uh, his remaining hand up. And uh, that was Scar was the last turn, right? Yeah. Yeah, and he's got my goddamn yeah. spider. So he holds that up. He heals for <laughs> one hit point. Ah, stupid spider. <laughs> and you notice that, like, all that blast and all that fire, it just sort of slid right off his armor. Great. And he's going to cast, or attempt to cast, another spell. So I got three on the roll, trying to beat a 14. This is worth going to camera. 
<laughs> like, you don't want me to make this roll. That's good. No. Three on the roll, trying to beat a 14. Ho! Mod 8. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, even though his armor is seemingly impervious to this explosion, the distraction of the whole thing, he tries to conjure up his next sort of magic spell and he just can't quite do it. And it's like he buckles over and reaches to his missing arm and it's clearly hurting him. We must trust in the universe. And uh, hmm. let me look at my little thing here. Okay, so as that happens and he fails the spell, he, you see the skull sort of twitching around inside this cloud of gas inside this helmet, which I just love it. Yeah, that, and that's, he that's a cool pops ball. a little panel open on his chest plate and punches in a key code. And you guys are going to want to see this timer as well. No. So <laughs> here we go. Hey, the player's friend. Oh, man. So he punches in this key code on his chest, and you see little rows of lights starting to light up on the starship. What? And like you see some gas vent out of the sides of the ship and it's the lights are coming on and it's starting to power up. Hmm. And so, that that was a big turn for me. So all the way back to Zondam. Let's get that 20 and pop, my brother. I feel like we just did his job for him. It's five. Oh. How's your timer looking? Two left. Man, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to risk Voos's life at this pace. Okay, Athos. Okay, I'm rolling my timer. Uh, oh, because you just hit the oh, oh your death timer, right? Yeah, yeah. This is my first my first because round. somebody so, shot him. Well, at least uh, <laughs> oh, no, I don't mean, I don't mean to. I don't mean to. <laughs> I'm happy it happened. That was epic. Yeah. All right. I know I'm teasing you, man. Just the chaos of battle. Yeah. Okay, so how'd you do on the death timer? Oh my god. I get to pop up. You got a 20? Uh, I got a 20. No I got way. my first 20 of the night. No way. <laughs> I did. I got a 20. It's the, it's the 20 of the night. That's good. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so you're up with one hit point. Soup. Is there soup? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, you are the soup. Yes. Um... He pops up and, <gasps> pop, and then back to you, Scar. Yeah, he's like, <gasps> oh man, I still only have one timer left, one one charge left of my spell casting. Uh, oh shit, <laughs> man. Um, how um how far away is um is uh Zandam? Zandam. Uh, he's just beyond a half for you. Just beyond a half. Um, yeah. so like you your half is about yay, I would say. Could I? Could I get? Do you think I could get? Could I get there and, and you know, kind of wake him up or do the assist? Yeah. So the assist just stops his timer. Don't die on me, bro. You know. Um, yeah. Okay. So I, you run I, over I, and yeah, you're like I, looking at his weird anatomy, and he has all these like bits of stone and wood stuck in him, and you kind of pull some of them out and try to push the weird material back together, like dried play-doh or something. <laughs> I yeah. I am. Um, as I walk by, um, as I walk by Athos, I'm, like, I'm saying, "I apologize. The sun it was in my eyes." <laughs> is, is there soup? <laughs> it's like full like dazed. <laughs> okay, so uh, so Zondam, you're still down, but your death timer stops. So that's good, and then that comes to me. So another vent of gas, like sort of coolant gas comes spraying out the sides of this starship okay. and uh it actually like two of these sort of stabilizer wings kind of move out into position and extend and it's it's like it's getting ready you see some lights come on inside the canopy um then i've got voos oh man he's probably pretty We're upset really hanging by his just got blown up. <laughs> yeah he's... poor voos i really did not but I just, I have to be my character. So he just steps right out here. <laughs> he pulls out his sword and he's like, Torzak, your days of terror are over. <laughs> That's awesome. And he goes running straight at him, but like this whole distance is just a little much. So his turn ends with him just running at Torzak. Oh, God. And I think like, he's sitting on like two HP, right, Jason? Yeah. yeah. Is it like slow-mo or something? It's like hanging on. <laughs> 
Okay. And then we have Torzak. Who's going to try to cast again? No. And I'm just going to try the same spell, so that way I don't have to choose again. Roll a five. Roll a one. Oh, three on my roll and beating the 14. Here we go. Torzak. No. Roll a blunder. No. Yay, it fell. It doesn't count. doesn't count. Yep. <laughs> Everyone knows. If it's There's a one, it counts. If it's 20, no. <laughs> <Mom's sick>. oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trust in the universe, brother. Yeah, so I'm on six. So I missed it again. So he fails his cast. That's a shame. And with that, moves back up to kind of into his sort of prime position here. And I don't know if you guys can see the detail on the map, but there's like a cool little hatch and little walkway down at the bottom of the ship and everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, so in two-minute tabletops, version of it, it's really just that big rock camp only at night and then i kind of hacked in the rest here cool so that is my turn my ship counted down my spell cast failed and voos is on the attack zondam you're you're uh, rolling to pop rolling to pop rolling, rolling to pop, to pop. i believe in you i hate you <laughs> 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 It's 18. <laughs> oh, oh, man. It's like these dice are going to get melted down afterwards. <laughs> Somebody's got to have some first aid or something. If you if you hear a window open, it's me throwing my dice out the goddamn window. <laughs> okay, Athos, you're up, my man. <laughs> me and that goblin are going to charge this guy. You're up, Jason. All right, all right, all right, Athos. Uh, so he won't he won't heal with magic because he he it thinks it's morally wrong. But uh, he does have a medicine kit. Oh, it. sweet! So uh, I would like no to see if takes that. Yeah, yeah. So I want to see if I can use the, the 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 medicine tool on on my Zill brother to like push some of his weird bits back into place. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so it's gonna, so plus Serena, is it going to be a wisdom check or? What, I mean, what, what check? What's the what's the written rule on medicine kit? It just says plus three to to attempt. Cool. Yeah. So let's do a wisdom check to understand his anatomy, and okay. if you can do that, then you can like heal him for basic. Okay. So I'll have plus eight with the plus three. Nice. Yeah. So mod nineteen. Great. Yeah. Okay. So heal him for basic. Sweet. Okay. And then do you I have, have uh, do you have divine on you or words from beyond? I do have words from beyond. Yeah, so roll a, a four and a twelve. Yeah, oh. Oh. that's awesome. All right, all right. Oh man. Uh, so ten. Nice. Okay, Zandam, you're up with ten HP. All, all right, let's get, let's get this full. So uh, my uh, when I sit up, um, I go back to ten. Of course, my aura actually gets pops back up too. And I, uh, I sit up. There's a blast! Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> is it nighttime now? What's happening? <laughs> Why is it dark? What happened? What did I miss? Man, Why way to dig deep on your sheet there, Jason. Way to go. That's awesome. Okay, so Scar, you're up. Okay. Um, Hanging by a thread here. Scar is... Um, You know what, man? Into 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 the breach, man. He's gonna Scar is going to like uh, run as fast as possible over to him and try to stab him with his uh, with, with uh, you know in the uh, just in the dome. You know what I mean? He's gonna try to rupture his dome with the uh, with the arc spear. Awesome. All right. He sees, so. he sees him kind of like struggling to like try to like cast a spell, and I figured that's my chance. And he's clearly trying to get away. So he does have sort of the high ground on you here on his little his little pedestal, so it's going to be a hard attack. <sighs> okay. So, you can so do hit this. That, hit that 17. Uh, all right. 17. And you got to hit uh, ultimate, don't you? No. Maybe. <laughs> you got 20. Uh, Tell me you got 20. I did not. No, I didn't get 20, but I did get 18 mod. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. that's, so, really good. that's good. That's awesome. Okay. So, um, oh, man. All right. Cool. All right. 
Come on, weapon damage. I'm going to zap you. You looking to get poked, boy? See? <laughs> Your coin? <laughs> I don't, not anymore. I used it. So four plus four, that's eight damage. Okay. <laughs> Nice. Imagine him just kind of flinging himself on him like that dude from 300 and just kind of like... Yeah. <laughs> Remember that the spider's still on him. So you uh, lay into his armor, gouge into the armor a little bit. But as you do so, there's a conductive field in this power armor that he's wearing. It runs up through your weapon and goes down across you. And no. he, like the skull looks over at you and this purple stuff is escaping the armor suit as you stab. And it runs down through your gear and starts to sort of dissolve things that are made out of metal and synthetic materials. Oh, oh no. no. And choose one piece of gear to be destroyed. I'm glad oh, I didn't no. hit him. Jeez. Right, Anytime one, you two, touch three, four, Torzak. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. I'm going to roll with D10. See here. I'm going to randomize it. I feel These like guys are in the world's book, by the way. These are uh, Imperium Ghost Armor, and they're, they're a really nasty bunch. Two, no, shit, it ruins my arc spear. Oh! oh. So sure enough, the thing sort of snaps, kind of tumbles off of your little holster for it, and then you see it on the ground, and this purple energy is just dissolving it into nothing. I can, I can, man, it's dissolved into nothing. It's not just broken, because my repair spider can repair that shit. Yeah, no, it's like goes into oh. little purple bits. Also, he oh. has the spider. He controls the spider now. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, well... Damn. <laughs> He's a nasty, nasty bastard. All right. Whew, but there you are. You're like face to face, and you just see this skull floating in this purple gas like inches from your face. Hmm. Okay, so that comes back to me. So you see another sort of vent of gas come out of the ship, and actually it sort of jolts a little bit and lifts up like a foot on these kind of little launch feet that are spreading out, and you see some venting gas coming out of the like uh, the jump rockets in the back like this is pretty low tech compared to what you guys have so my ship timer is now at two um Vus makes the same hard attack two on the roll mod 14 oh nice so he does the same thing does weapon damage and his sword is instantly dissolved does three damage Sweet. Yep. That was so my sword. sword. <laughs> but so he sticks this buoy knife right into Torzak's armor and it instantly just goes and like breaks apart into like little purple atoms. And Voos is like, I'll use my bare hands if I have to. <laughs> and then Torzak, and he's going to try to cast the same spell I've been trying to do. And that's going to be easy since he's failed a couple times. Roll of three. Roll so. Three. Three on the roll, beating an 11. Roll of three. And I got a mod 12. Uh, so he casts... Oh wait, no, damn. <laughs> <laughs> so he casts Create Device. No. Oh, no. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> and so this, this purple uh, like energy sort of forms like a little sort of blueprint in thin air and like little rings and lines and like a wireframe and it becomes solid and he basically conjures an auto gun. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so let me I... roll a spin up on the auto gun in turn. It's a four, so that's good. Ship timer's at two, and that's my turn, guys. Brace yourselves. And Zondam, you're up, dude. We are coming to the, we're coming to a head here. Can I make get it him. up there uh, to him? Get him. Get him. Or get that laser cannon. No, I, I want to take that damn spider off. Yeah, you'll have the you'll have the hard attempt since you guys are all kind of below him. You're all sort of fighting down at his knees. Cut his arms off. Or wait, he's only got one arm anyway. Yeah. I want to take no, I want to take off that uh that spider because that's what's keeping him. Don't don't destroy it. I, I like that. Oh thing. no, I just want to grab it. <laughs> I see if I can grab it and just like tear it off of him and just I'll make sure and throw it aside. I'll make sure get it off him okay so make a, the spider doesn't really resist you in that regard so make an easy dex to snatch that bugger 17. great so you grab it and the little legs are struggling and it's like trying to return to him okay but uh you know it's just a little thing like you can easily hold it in one hand yeah 
um, it's like shoving in a belt pouch. It'll keep wiggling, but it's not like it's powerful. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. Um, well, and I think that's it. That was a move and an action. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Still a good move though. Uh, Athos, you're up. Okay. Athos is going to. Uh, he's going to. He's going to challenge the will of the universe here. And once again, try to bring words beyond time to his party. Oh man, is this your? Uh, what happened to your burn and everything? That's at four. I'm saying this would be the last charge on the burn. Oh, okay. So this is this is the fourth. This is the final hurrah. This is the final hurrah, and I rolled a natural one. Oh no! Roll for the blundar. No, well, I think it's even worse than that because I have to roll holy backfire, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. So is there even a Blundar, or does that happen also? No, let's just do Holy Backfire. Okay. Do, do you roll that, or do I? New mechanics. It's a D4. <laughs> when casting, you blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah. Why don't you roll it? <laughs> That's just mean. <laughs> What's going to happen? <laughs> I'm angry at the gods. Run, run, my, fro- my it's friends. It's got to be your responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> a two. The gods are angered. Accelerate any GM timers to one instantly. Yeah. Oh, god damn. So yeah, this is the <laughs> this is the fun of this is that since your spells are kind of time warpy oriented, yeah. when you botch it like this, time sort of accelerates for a second. <laughs> so oopsie. <laughs> so that means the auto gun goes off instantly. And that means the ship goes down to one. Yep. Holy shit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just got bad <laughs> so the auto gun tracks over let's just do that first since it's not being ridden like a bull it knows how to aim oh god oh crap look at that so it spins no. up and unloads so uh no i'd have to say everyone but voos <laughs> make that deck save i'm behind a rock <laughs> That hit a fourteen, and you the the boosters of the ship actually light up as this auto gun goes off. Oh man, that's gonna yeah. be not cool to be next to a ship launching. Mod mod twenty. <laughs> oh nice. Mod fifteen. 18. Nice. Athos. Eighteen. Oh shit! Everybody <laughs> made it. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable! So the bullets just <laughs> everywhere, and you guys just happen to duck and jive in just such a way. He's doing like a little a little kung fu dance, you know. And with it, with a a team <laughs> save of that level of epic magnitude, I'm gonna get out the old session ender. Oh. So okay. throwing out a one on this roll. <laughs> oh, 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 it's a deuce. Okay. Oh my goodness. So on my turn, which is after Scar, this ship's going to start moving. Okay. So tonight. Scar is going to kind is going to try to um I can climb on any surface. So Scar is going to try to back onto uh onto onto the back of uh Torzak. Uh, and <laughs> from 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 behind, I'm going to I'm going to take out my machete and try to try to like drive it down into like the uh, like skull compartment. <laughs> I told you, your Drax, man. I told you. Yeah. Okay. All right. So All right. make the attack. So you scribble up around him, and you're no longer making hard. So just beat that 14. Yeah, boy. All right, uh, 17. Nice damage. Great damage. Maximum damage, that's 10. Whoa! Yeah. Holy. Wow, that puts it... So you actually, you crack the you crack the helmet open. And that gas starts <laughs> escaping out. That's Roll awesome. on your loot again. Roll on my... Oh, shit. All right. Yeah. All right, so I don't have that. So that that one, purple two, sort of, this little atomizing energy comes flowing out and destroys one of your pieces of gear. Seven, all right. God damn it. All right. My my machete. <laughs> <laughs> so it basically just one. disappears into the helmet gas and dissolves as you as you crack this sort of shell on top of him. What do you All have right. left, man? 
I have my 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 honor blade. Okay. And my claws and fangs. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Loaded for bear. Sometimes that's all you need. <laughs> okay, so the um, the auto gun is on three turns, so that's going to be after Athos. Okay. Um, and then Torzak has a lizard on him. <laughs> I need to see if I can come up with something here. Um, you can die. <laughs> are there any healing spells in Int? I don't think there are. No. I don't think so. Oh, that's his one limitation. I mean, I guess he could create a healing spider with his great device. Hey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so he's gonna. I think I've got my cast here. It's uh, where is it? There it is. A med pack. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can see. Okay. So surgery droid. Again, these are kind of clutch. So three on the roll, beating a fourteen here. Oh. Oh, what is that? Oh, nice. So he casts translocate. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what? He teleport swaps with Athos. Wait, does um that does, ship is gonna like, take off, guys? <laughs> does Scar go with him? Uh, I think there's fifty fifty chance. <laughs> yeah. So on the on the bottom end, one, two, three, he does go with him. Yeah, and it's a six, so he's left oh, behind. Okay. I think we should run into the ship. Uh, we have a warp shell, though. I mean, right? Well, I mean, it'll be in space, too. That's true. <laughs> so, uh, with that, the auto gun isn't quite going off yet, but thanks to the time acceleration, that is the launch point for the ship. Uh oh. So, the engines of this ship instantly ignite, they blow the auto gun to bits. Okay. And That's I would say idea. Athos and Scar. No. This is basically uh, save or die. Question. I have I have a, a, the Zurin robe, and it says intervene command move robe to near ally to absorb next attack. Can I try to, like, shield one of my companions? You look that sucker up. Man, I love this searchable book. It's so great. Yeah. Man, is it fast. Okay, so it all the time. intervention command. So that means, you know, like, Grr! Yeah. Moves this robe to any near ally and absorbs the next attack. So yeah, it is it's just like Doctor Strange's cloak of levitation. Yeah. So I try to I try to protect uh should try to protect Matt. Me? So you're gonna send the cloak over on Scar. On Scar, yeah, because the rest of us have pretty high armor and stuff. Oh, so well, okay. And then it's so so Scar like crouches down under the robe as this Hellfire unleashes, and then oh no! So now it's yeah. just Athos. Save or die, my friend. Oh man! All right. So uh, it's going to be a deck save, I'd have to say. So this is the like to jump under some debris. Oh jeez! Save or die. It landed outside the tray. Fourteen. Oh! <laughs> oh man! Nice. So 14. the fire comes sweeping over. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> So it singes your shell terribly, takes you down to one HP, we'll say. Yeah. Turtle power. So this whole blast happens and the <laughs> ship is lifting off. And I can't say I saw that coming, so there it goes. It just takes off like space shuttle style. <laughs> Cowabunga. And Torzak, you can see the little skull looking up, watching it, and if a skull can look pissed off, <laughs> this this one does. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So he just watches his ship go lifting off, but he's safe. <laughs> and then his his look comes back to you guys. <laughs> and yeah. my session end is now on its final. So this is your final turn. Throw what will you do, man. guys? Oh, man. And just for the joy of meta, he's sitting on one hit point. No. Nice. He's got 39 damage against him. Ooh. So I know that isn't necessarily character knowledge, but it's just too fun not to tell you. So oh, that's, man. That's, that's, a, that's a big so, boy. So Zondam, you're up. This is like your final moment in the comic book here. So what will you do? I want to shoot him. 
Indiana Jones style, just <laughs> America, <laughs> basically. <laughs> America or warp shell. <laughs> All right, roll it up, man. Make the hit. Fourteen. Nice. Just barely, man. Like literally, it was because of the mod. <laughs> And uh, there's no way to do less than one damage, so the bullet goes right through the now damaged sort of glass canopy right into the forehead of the skull. Okay. And Torzak yeah. slumps down to the ground, and that same energy that's been destroying your equipment actually then kind of dissolves him. And he yeah. dissolves down into the grass, and the, the, the sort of the purple gas dissipates, and there's just this skull laying in the grass. Oh, man. Athos. <laughs> Athos sees all this happen and he looks around and he goes we lived and he like jumping up and down and he like falls over on his back with his little turtle arms <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's like a TMNT ending <laughs> okay another, Scar another successful hunt <laughs> by the way where is our ship <laughs> <laughs> And he presses the button to call a spider over to him and just kind of like looks over. But cool. So the spider it. can <laughs> jump out of uh, Zondam's hand and come over and it starts working on some of your injuries. Cool. And then it looks like Voos might get the last word. So Voos thanks all of you guys and he looks up in the sky and you can see this sort of track of smoke leading off through the atmosphere. And he uh, sort of has this wistful look in his eye and like, a bunch of his friends just all got atomized and he looks around and he's like something tells me this is only the beginning yes cool. and that is the end for tonight my friends yeah that's yeah! awesome yeah hey super fun i was pretty damn sure we were gonna have one survivor there for quite a while yeah, yeah. oh man yeah. I, can't believe we, I was like when we survived that the first thought that went through my head is hank didn't kill us all Yes. <laughs> hey, you know, I I he tried. <laughs> I think actually, when when you saved the game was the auto gun. When when everybody saved against that auto gun, that was really the that was the difference. Yeah, yeah that's I was like, I, been, I, so it all would have been I down. I saw him create this auto gun. I've just like ruined junk pieces and like, and then, and then, and then, and then I was like, we're going to wipe. Like, that's it. That's what I thought. And I was like, I was like, well, hang it up guys. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So, so what do you guys think uh, for our, our post-mortem here about the balance of how durable you are and how much I'm throwing at you? A any thoughts of how it feels or where to, where to go next? Uh, you know, I mean, we all pretty much made it through repeatedly with like tipping along with like one hit point. So, yeah. I mean, to me, they are characters are extremely durable, you know, when it comes down to it, because there are so many ways to sort of get back that one hit point. Uh, and the DM can always adjust by with, with room timers or not the room timer, the room target, you know, yeah, if, if yeah. it really starts to feel like it's over or, or that magical loot you find of like, oh, you found a supply pack of medicine. How did that happen? Right. I mean, once yeah. I'm hurling like save or take D12 at you, like every few turns, like it's hard to escalate too much beyond that without feeling like it's just trolling. Those yeah. those scrags do D8 damage too, right? Yeah, they've got yeah, they're using like energy weapons, you know. So they're like yeah. magical, so, magically infused weapons, you know. Yeah. So 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 that's not. I mean, that's they're doing and they're doing so they can potentially do. They get plus two to their damage too, so they can potentially do. 10 damage per turn yeah so so that they could have taken they they could have they could have killed me at any given time <laughs> right yeah um i yeah, i think one shot i think i think that um the durability is is high though like i i'm you, you guys could have just you guys could have just like picked me up and like hey like you know apply med pack here you know what i mean yeah, so, right I mean, we were also kind of, I mean, but this this definitely felt like a uh, like a leveled up version of the game, right? And we did start yeah. off with sort of super loot options. Uh, I agree. Yeah. Normally would. Yeah, that is definitely true. I mean, like the spider yeah. and, uh, you know, having the super spells and like, you know, like, yeah. that's we good stuff. Have, 
yeah, we would have we would have been screwed without like more armor. You know, yeah, there's more, no way. I mean, we used all of those items. There's no way that that would have worked yeah, out. Otherwise. Exactly, we used all of those items. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was it was. I have to use my supply pack. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I felt it was very balanced. I mean, um, that 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 could have been very much a touch and go on on both sides. I mean, either you could have been overwhelmed completely by what we had, or we could have been overwhelmed by you. And at times it felt like we were, but I think that was good because we, we had chances to recover, to do it. It was it was really about the dice rolls, and I think that's what made yeah. it um, really unique. So Awesome. So that was kind of a, a big delve into just lots of gunfire and explosions. So uh, I know we have three more players that wanted to jump in this game that got bunted till next week's game. So I think next week's game gonna try to take it a different direction, do a lot of puzzle trappy, so that we're not just doing all this gunfire. So I hope everybody who uh, tuned in tonight, thanks for watching. I uh, had a lot of people coming and going and commenting, so thanks for participating and hanging out with Austin and Jason and Matt, my awesome players tonight. Um, once again, please consider going over to Two Minute Tabletop on Patreon. He is the guy who made the awesome map art that was in the game tonight. And um, nice to have you around, you guys. Thanks for playing. That was a really fun game. And uh, yeah. I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you. Right. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Cool. See you all next time. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Skull. Skull.